What is going on, junkies? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Weekly Relapse. Episode 89, actually. Um, this one's fucking dope. Actually, I really, really enjoyed this episode. Uh, we got a new sponsor. It's Hub City Tech. So I have a read for them. I'm going to go ahead and do, just do my, all my sponsors real quick. And then I uh, get you guys into the the uh, the you know the actual podcast with Tyler Hernandez. This is a fucking good episode, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy listening to it. I you can tell we had a blast recording it. So, uh, first off, it's a Yell City Comedy production, man. Don't I mean everything we do is underneath the uh, Yell City Comedy. So if you guys enjoy the podcast and you want to you know know a little bit more about our stand up, you can go check out Yell City Comedy on YouTube as well as Yellow City Comedy and Productions on Facebook. If you're trying to book in our area, just hit that up, man. Message us on Facebook, and we'll get you a show set up in our area and get you in, into Amarillo and have a good time. Uh, Spitefully Spicy is actually w- one of our sponsors. He's uh, Colin Robinson on Instagram. That's Colin with one L-S-U-X. Colin sucks on Instagram. His name's Colin Robinson. He's a hilarious comedian here in Amarillo. He also runs Spitefully Spicy, which is a hot sauce company amazing hot sauce company i can't even stress how good their fucking hot sauce is i have a fridge full i mean blueberry ghost pepper strawberry carolina reaper uh, reaper the the mango habanero the hatch green chili for those who don't like a lot of spice but you still enjoy a really nice hot sauce he has it all man uh fresno pepper he has all these amazing hot sauces so make sure to go check him out that's at spitefully spicy on instagram or at colin sucks on instagram um, I would follow the guy, man. He's fucking hilarious. I don't know if he posts too much, but his comedy career, his comedy, his material is unbelievable. Uh, if you ever get a chance to catch Colin, do a show, man. Definitely, definitely jump on that. We also have NoThirdLane.com. Uh, they are a clothing. They, they've helped us out with our shirts and stuff like that. They actually helped us design our logo for our shirt, which I thought was awesome. They they really you know outdid themselves by helping us do that. That's not even what we asked. We just asked about shirts, and they're like, dude, not only that, we have a logo for you. So that was pretty awesome, man. Um, so make sure to go check them out. What's cool about NoThirdLane.com is whenever you purchase through No Third Lane, 10% of your purchase is caked back into Texas College Scholarships. So they actually donate a bunch of their money to go to Texas Scholarships for you know college students. So that's pretty fucking sick as well. You get to kick some of your money back in the community. Uh, so yeah, we're, we love working with those guys. And then my new, like my favorite sponsor. I'm so fucking pumped about this, you guys. I have a real read I actually have to do, which is why I'm doing it separate than just throwing it in. Uh, that and I often forget to do our sponsors anyway, which they don't like. So um, I'm trying to take a new a new route to get this stuff done. So our new sponsor, Hub City Tech. Uh, actually, the gentleman on this podcast is with Hub City Tech. So we talk a lot at the end. We uh, we kind of just chop it up for a while, but at the end we do end up talking about Hub City Tech. And all the cool shit they do. And it's really fucking interesting, guys. It's super cool. So uh, they are one of our new sponsors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do, get this little read out the way. It says, um, Hub City Tech is your one-stop IT department. They offer traditional IT solutions, computer services, smartphone repair, website and mobile app development, and graphic design. They even offer mobile electronic notary public services. I don't even know if I fucking said that right. Uh, that's not all, though. The real fun starts when we start talking about smart mirrors, holographic displays, and smart home accessories and other custom technology for your home or business. Now, that's actually true. We talk about this on the podcast. Those The smart mirrors, dude, sound so badass. I want one so bad. Uh, wait till you can hear him really – because, like, he's talking about, like, man, like, how he can what, – what all it can do, man. Like, yeah, I, I'm sure he goes on to explain. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right here. Imagine brushing your teeth while you read the latest news, weather, professional, or your personal calendar. Cor- current sports stats are displayed in your, as well as your reflection. That be see, I mean that dude, that sounds just sounds awesome. You can even play music on certain models. All these things are real cool. Uh, I mean, he was explaining that you can put like a an Alexa or a Google Home in them as well. It is yeah, it's super badass. Hub City Tech can handle your tech issues from anywhere in the world through their signature instant tech connection button located on their website. Visit Hub City Tech or Hub City dot Tech. That's Hub City dot T E C H to get instantly connected to one of their certified technicians to solve your problem right now. No need to take. Sorry, uh, the <laughs> I just got a text from the guy that was on the podcast. He turns out he's the CEO of this bad motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no need to take your computer or phone to big box stores and get connected to Hub City Tech. Once again, that website is hubcity.tech or you can call the number 
806-316-5799. That number is 806-316-5799. And tell them Skyler sent you Hub City Tech, powered by the people who make IT happen. I'm telling you, dude, uh, not only was this one of the greatest guests I've had on the podcast, uh, one of the most interesting podcasts I've had, uh, genuinely super excited about what this dude is doing. I'm pumped to see how, like, I mean, Hub City Tech, man, they're going to blow up, and I'm the stuff they're doing already is just phenomenal. I can't wait to see, like, how far they can actually take this thing. So, all right, man, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start the podcast. I really appreciate you guys uh, listening in. Uh, like I said, go go visit our sponsors. Give them a, give them a check. If you, if you do, go check them out or anything. Leave a comment, a uh, message, and whatever you got to do. Let them know that you, you heard them here, all right? Hi, this is Tyler Hernandez. Thanks for tuning in to the Weekly Relapse. Fucking crushed it. Yeah. All right, yeah. You're like, dude, yeah, with confidence. Yeah. That was awesome. Works out. You are listening to the Weekly Relapse with your host, Skylar Potter. Potter. The day is done. Actually, a picture of my old boss. Really? Yeah, I took that picture. I don't know the audience the guy can't. With the beard? Yeah, right here. Oh, wow. And uh, you, if you look carefully, he's eating out of an ashtray. Okay. And then I took that picture. He's and he eating out of it. And he was like, "Yeah," because he was drunk as shit, right? Oh, okay. I don't know. He dumped a bunch of food into it, like it was, Ugh. and was trying to trick people into eat, eating it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then when they wouldn't, he just started fucking like that, ah, like it was like that. It was just being gross. Uh, I took the picture, and he was like, "Yeah, you can post it." And I was like, "Remember you said that?" And like, he was my boss at the time. Mm-hmm. And like the like the next day, I used it to promote a comedy show. <laughs> it, like it says, uh, like. Comedy show tonight at Les Woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he, is he thankful for that now? I mean, has he Oh, no, he's, he ranks? has a kid now. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the guy with the kid. He does have a kid, okay. yeah. Is this the guy with the tattoos? He goes to the to the teacher conference? Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. no. Okay. They're way different, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have the same name, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, imagine that. Hmm. No. I think it's like a baby baby, but yeah, it's that just uh, cracked me up. I forgot that picture was on there. Okay, so anyway, what's up, buddy? Oh, my, man, dude, just <laughs> kicking it today. I got into A-Town. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming all the way out. Yeah, man. It was fun. Um, I got pulled over, like I say. Uh, yeah, oh, dude. Someone talking about it earlier. Um, you know, and they got me in that work zone, and it just... That sucks, too. Like, that's the scariest part of traveling, is like you almost have to be like, I'm either going to be really late. Yeah. It's going to take a long time. And like, everybody or, always knows, right? They know they're about to get pulled over. They're like, oh, man, that's, yeah. That's for me, you know? Oh, yeah. And it, it looks like it's placed there for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've seen those, man. That's yeah. so scary. I came around the corner the other day. Have you ever been like in your head? You're like, oh, I'm going to gas it. And then you're like, nah, I better not. Mm-hmm. And then you come around the corner and then there's a cop sitting right there. Like, have you ever had that feeling of like, no. I better not do this because there might be a cop around. And then you see the cop right there. Yeah, no, I think that we have spider senses for the cops. I, I think that that's a real thing, you know, especially if you like myself get really apprehensive when it comes to cops. Right. Yeah. I mean, and I had my it's, it pissed me off because my windows were super tinted and like I get it extremely tinted and they still knew I was black. I know. <laughs> you just I know it. Like, I was going to make the joke <laughs> whenever you text me that you got pulled over. I was gonna be like, that's racist. Yeah, but I no, was like, it is. I was he like, ah. He's yeah. like, he just got pulled over. Yeah. Let's not just pile on. Like, what if he is like, yeah, it was. Like, yeah, it's all. It really was. I'm sure. You know, I'm convinced that anytime anything happens to me, it is my skin color at this Yeah, stage. it doesn't matter if who I'm robbing. Mm-hmm. If I go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's, they're, just, they're just racist. No, it's not bad. I mean, and it's cool because, like, you know, as you, it's funny. You're giving back to the community. I always say when I'm coming into Amarillo, I can almost, like, feel this like it's it's like going into like silent hill you ever see silent hill oh that's a great way to put it you know i play the mean? games yeah and it just kind of like this haze falls over you you know your um, radio stops working yeah exactly <laughs> starts making all these weird noises yeah it's just country music turns out. <laughs> 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 but you know um it's cool because i feel like that veil's getting thinner and thinner nowadays you know um you know i moved out when i was like 18, 19. So I tried to leave, and then just I went too big. Yeah, uh, I was like, I'm moving to Denver. Same, that's what I did. And, I went to Colorado Springs, Denver. You know, I went too big. Back. It was just like I got on a plane and left. Mm-hmm. 
and just like what? Just Didn't have a job. Yeah. yeah, that's about what I did. I just sold everything I had. That's went exactly what I did. It's like and then and then like out. six months later, I was living in a garage without a TV or a PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Just like fuck. Well, I mean, what do you need though, right? Except but your butts. Well, well now, I, well now, I was back in Amarillo. Oh, okay. Living in my mom's garage. With, oh, okay. <laughs> like. No, that's like I basically do left for like six months and then mm. walked back up and just picked up from where I left off. I hadn't, I hadn't, I wasn't doing comedy yet yeah. or anything. So, well, I mean, that's the cool part too about you know, I guess anybody's home is. I often say, hey, you know, if you want to move out, you want to go to Oregon, you want to go to California, you want to go to Bangkok, whatever, I could just go. Um, and then if all else fails, <coughs> you can always just like press p- press play when you get back here. Yeah, and, I mean. I don't know. Worst case scenario, someone's had a couple babies. Restaurants closed. Restaurants opened. Um, you know, and the cool part is, like, say, we, as I'm looking at just what's going oh. on in Amarillo right now, the comedy scene, the the art scene, the you know, there was a big graffiti. Oh yeah, I actually, that. I'm really good friends with the person who set that up. I'm actually kind of worried that this may not be recording properly. Oh, that's hilarious. Give me one second. You good? I just don't want to get too far and yeah, get wrong. That's so. That's done. <laughs> At least it sounds good. And then, guess what? To the audience, I was like, hold on. That at least it sounds good. Oh, like, it was, okay. a, it was instant for mm-hmm. him. No waiting around. I like that. Do you have any cool, like, bits, like, that you play? Uh, no. Any applause? Or? No, oh, no. I couldn't do that. I can't even watch TV shows that have laugh tracks. Yeah, on. we need laugh tracks. That's what I'm I can't saying, do dude. it. I wanted to watch that, that show with uh, Brent Morin and Chris D'Elia. Yeah. They like they it was it was a really really big show like undateable maybe or something like that, and then uh, they they started doing like live versions and all this shit like on TV yeah yeah yeah, oh, no. yeah like a real show I'm really it's funny I'm really out of the world yeah I, I I didn't watch it I watched one episode like on Hulu I think because okay. or something like that because it, I couldn't because it had a sound like a laugh track mm-hmm. hmm. or you even just, like a live audience I don't like that shit anymore you just like, gravitate I, away from laugh track I'm super down whenever it's like I'm watching Home Improvement like something okay. I grew up like with old school and it, right. it's like dude that's what it was back then mm-hmm. but we've come so far and joke writing has come so far production like how we go about making TV shows and shit has come so fucking far mm-hmm. that if you're using a laugh track, I just don't want to. You just have no respect. I just you're don't want to watch it. Yeah, just it's done. just not for me. Yeah. I can see how it's appealing. I, like I just to be feel told like to laugh or to feel a certain way. Like, well, I feel like whenever, well, whenever they know? do that, it's because it, like it's you, you can sell a really shitty joke that way. True. True. You know what I mean? Then, then I'm finding shit that's funny people, that I probably wouldn't find. People don't realize it's a terrible right. joke because they heard a bunch of people laugh at it, mm-hmm. and they're like, oh, "Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that must be funny." Yeah. I feel like it's kind of like responsible it. for dumbing people down, uh, like, making okay. people like like where they like where they hear something, yeah, like they hear like a funny thing, like I don't know, like what's it like a, a line from Ted, and mm-hmm. then they repeat it in everyday life, like mm-hmm. it's like their thought, like. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? They'll be like, well, I smoked this weed the other day. It's called, this is permanent. Hada. And then, uh, Hada. Yeah. And then they, like, just, and they, oh, just, God. they <laughs> just start laughing like, this is permanent. Da! And, you're like, and everybody around them laughs. And then, they, it is cause it's and the then within like right? 30 seconds, every person's just spitting out lines. Like 60% of the time it works every time. And then like they're just oh, doing movie. Yeah, yeah, they're doing movie quote, quotes yeah. left and forth. Like, dude, I, have, I see it at work dude, all day. I talk day. in movie quotes like all day long. I like doing that. But like, I hate whenever, I hate whenever people like, it's you do it in a way where like you're doing a movie quote and you're like fuck no one got it yeah these guys are doing it's it in always a way like this obscure line that no one where remembers they're doing a movie quote all. and they're like I hope no one knows it's from that movie <laughs> yeah, I got you yeah I got you like it's, I like look to the person like that I'm talking to and I want them to recognize them I want to catch her eye and be like you know what I'm talking about right if you don't me and this dude that monkey cool at work do that with the office all day yeah the office and always sunny mm-hmm. always um, sunny yeah. but like uh. He we do like really weird reference like mm-hmm. wor- like lines like there's this one where Holly comes back and then um, they're like talking to each other mm-hmm. and uh, she's all uh, she goes extra extra read all about it extra extra yeah, and, yeah then, and, you, and, yeah. and then Michael Scott goes newspapers <laughs> for sale and like so we'll do the newspaper line like like dude don't just be like. Like, can I get two chickens? Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Okay, we need ranch, ranch. Newspapers for sale. Oh, like, and I know that's for me. Like, yeah. I knew that. Like, that was just monkey. Yeah. Saying, just, "What's up, Skyler?" Mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Just throwing it out at you. You know, it's that instant recognition that we're really getting on to. Like, I'm gonna say it this way: Have you seen the Disney Channel nowadays? You don't have kids, so no, uh, I have not. Uh, okay, I mean, I don't know if it was like this when we I'm were trying. Here. I'm trying to get like I want that Nick Channel. 
where I can watch the Rocket League and stuff. Yeah, yeah, the old school stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, no. I don't but know. But they're like, you want to you wanna sign over your life? You want to mm-hmm. pay us $10,000? Talk to me after the podcast. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, any, okay. whatever you need. Yeah. I want Rocket League so yeah, bad. Whatever you need, yeah. So bad. Um, there's, um, you know, so like, you know, just to kind of draw it back, that little, those people, like when we were younger, I don't know if it was the same as when we were younger, but the way that they behave on TV, on the Disney Channel, like the kids, it's just so like over dramatic and so weird. Oh yeah, and, dude. Like, weird child actors being fucking, you know, just weird people. Oh that man. You know are gonna get I feel like weird. if I were to have a kid, man, because yeah. I have a lot of. You saw I have a lot of movies. Yeah, you have, like some a good, lot of like, old school movies. Like, yeah. yeah. I think I would raise them on shit like That's that. That's exactly what we like, do in my house. I was yeah. gonna like. I mean, we'd be watching Dexter's Lab. Yep. We'd be watching. I have Animaniacs. Yep. You know yeah. what I mean? The Turtles. I'll my kids you. are gonna love the Turtles, or they're not gonna live in my house. Yeah, now my son thinks it's 1996. You know yeah, I mean? and that's good. Like, so that's good. I bet he wants to wear plaid t-shirts. Yeah, absolutely. He's you got a really saying? cool style. He, like, he wants to think about things like rollerblading. You know, shit. Things yeah, people dude, don't do anymore. You need to. You, know? you need to w- make that dude watch Brink. Brink. Oh, good. Yeah, we, yeah, we have Brink. the Disney Channel original movie lineup. Dude. Yeah, like so. So we're slowly going through things like Smart House. Do you remember Smart yeah, House? Yeah, Smart House. Like, yeah. Uh, Motocross? Is that what it was oh, called? No. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, what, what the fuck was the name of it? Where she, where she was a chick and she subbed for her like, brother? brother, twin oh brother. Oh my yeah. god, that, that was great. A, I loved it. But Brink was one of, and then there, oh man, there's so many good. No, the good ones are. They, that's what I'm saying is they don't that, like that's just gone. Anymore, you know, and so now nobody's drawn like, Mickey with light. Oh yeah, right. I mean, the little deals. That, yeah, you know, I think they still kind of do something similar. That, but that dude, shitty. they do they like jumped over the the movie scroll. Remember, like that's how you knew. The, like the little intro. That's yeah. how you knew you're about to watch Brink or yeah. some badass yeah, movie. Some good one. Halloween Disney Town. Channel. Oh, Halloween Town. See, they still do. So they honor the greats. You know, they'll play those. You know, pretty you consistently s- in the like traditional holiday season. But yeah, yeah, they'll do that. Other but. than that, though, like my kids at the mercy of like these other kids, and he's looking at it and saying, "Oh, this is how we behave." You know, so I'll catch him like not when I say like not being himself in those moments. I'm like, "Hey, don't don't be like the kids on the TV." I'm I, I'm probably gonna slap you for it. Like I can't stand those kids. I can't watch the shit. With him. Oh, that's the thing, man. I wonder why my mom. You know, we did that. Yeah. I wonder why my mom never stopped me. I mean, at the time, I don't think that it was bad. That's what I'm saying. I think there's a stark difference. Like, Like, do you remember uh, Smart Guy? Smart Guy, yes. T.J. Henderson. I mean, I got I got that too many times. Yeah, yeah. Of course, (laughs) not. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I said that, I was like, of course, yeah. You know, I know. Of course, you know that. Uh, there's that ep- episode where he bought the really baggy jeans. Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. They were way too big for him. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I. Never forgot that episode. Yeah, but I didn't take the message away. Yeah, where he didn't need the baggy jeans. Yeah. I just wanted baggy jeans. Yeah, they just looked cool, right? Yeah, like it was. But he was like, you know, he was so tiny. He was a good dude, you know, yeah, good yeah. guy, good good family. I like whenever Sister I see his fine. dad as the act, like the actor that played his dad. I see him in shit all yeah. the time. And you're like, that's TJ's dad. Right? Yeah, yeah, like, but he played a great dad, and yeah. he was like usually like a villain or something, like yeah. or like a really like a patsy, like you know. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't that, you know. I'm really getting into, you know, as we're talking about TV shows, Doctor Who. Have you ever seen Doctor no, Who? No, I'm not a Who Bro, guy. I, I wasn't either. I've gone to a couple of, like, anime cons and comic cons out in Dallas and here in Amarillo and stuff. Um, and, you know, my girlfriend wanted me to watch it all the time. And finally, I, I buckled down. I said, okay, we'll watch it. So I'm watching it. And now I'm completely hooked on it. Um, we're, we're now into this newest season, and the Doctor's a lady now. No. And, you know, it's just really cool. Um, the BBC My girlfriend wants me to watch Stranger Things. Stranger Things is all right. I mean, so badly. I'll tell you what, though. Me. Downton Abbey. Get down on Downton Abbey. That's You are a fancy motherfucker if you're <laughs> watching Downton Abbey, period. I mean, I think I need a valet. I Dude, need, you know, someone to drive me everywhere. Like, period. No, she, period. She watches the show, fucking, what is it called? Gilmore Girls. Uh, I can't Okay? That, no. It's awful. Mm-hmm. Um, there is so much dialogue in that show. I believe that. It is crazy. I, really I was, cause I, I like I'm sitting in the room, you know. So I'm like I'm kind of like watching, like like I'm on my phone, but then like I'm just listening, and I'm like, dude, I could not imagine being a writer on this show. Mm. Like th- these ladies are like, but well, actually, it's and like like they're like throwing out like references and puns and like yeah. it seems like they're being creative at the same time, and it's just so much dialogue. I was like, I want to see the. Th- the thickness of the script for one episode. Right, yeah. I bet it's insane. I'm sure they just ad lib though. They're just up there just talking shit. I don't know, you know man. I mean? like, no, it's it's too involved. It's like, really <laughs> deep, dude. Okay. Like it was it's obviously scripted. One hundred percent. They might be like, like a waiting th- for their cue. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Dude, okay. I will pull up if I had to. I'm yeah. not there's no way I can have the my, my NSA guy know I, I Googled something from Gilmore Girls. So oh, I'm yeah. not gonna pull it up. No, I but got you. <laughs> I got you. I mean I, I believe you. I fucking, it's you know. so crazy. 
It's you know, so much dialogue. My little brother, he was like, you know, he's 20 something, 21, 22 now. And he was really big on basically everything that came on MTV. So, I mean, I stopped watching MTV in 2007, like, you know, they started. Yeah, Robin weird. Big. Yeah, you know. I was kind of like, I'd, I, wa- I would dabble. Mm-hmm. I would, I'd pop It'd be in. on, you know, it's something I'd pop in and on, check yeah. out the Fantasy Factory. Mm-hmm. But Robin Big that, was yeah. like, yeah, pretty much when I, around that time, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, this. You know, he watches the. the like the Teen Wolf and like uh, just it's, it's a whole bunch of teen. It's probably drama. better than what yeah. it was when we were growing There's up because it was date no music though. There's it was no that music. date bus. Oh, or shit like that yes. when, when we were growing up. So it was oh, a lot yeah. worse. The Room Raiders, remember that? Did Room, Raiders. Room Raiders. Oh my yeah, god. Dude. Yeah. Forgot all about Room that. Raiders. Room I, Raiders. I, I always thought like, fuck, I need to be on Room Raiders, period. Like, I, not because I want anyone in my room, but I want to see another motherfucker's room. Like, I want to see some chick's room, and I want to find her fucking weird stuff. And I, I, I remember thinking I would never go on this show. Yeah. No, I mean, I feel like a Sherlock Holmes type person. I, I can, like, look at something and be like, all right, cool. So you've got some weird pillow right there. That means this is I think everybody would be really disappointed in my house. Yeah. They would like, go in my room and be like, I don't know. I feel like the dog made shit on the floor at one point. That's, no. Yeah, these, no. I mean, these guys are really boring. <laughs> I wouldn't. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, like, I think it's really cool to see the reflection of, like, who you are and what you're doing in anybody's home, period. If it's a, if it's just that you love comedy, like, say, you're, you're kind of doing your thing. I mean, like, the room we're in right now makes so much sense. Yeah. Um, and it's just really cool to behold. I mean, visiting someone else's space, regardless of where that is, if it's at work, if it's at their house, if it's their, that, at their mom's house in their old room. Um, it's just really cool. To see. Dude, you know what's crazy to me is that moms keep their old rooms. No, who does that? My no. mom didn't do that. Mm-mm. My mom had that shit turn the moment. Dude, yeah. I wasn't even done moving the fuck out. And she's like, yeah, this is my office now. So no, I know you got one more night here, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be painting. Yeah, no, I've seen a lot of, like, my friends' parents do the same thing as soon as they left for college. Boom, it was done. They, they had a guest room. They had this beautiful – and, like, they started buying shit that they never would have put in oh, that room. Oh, yeah, dude. They, like, you a know, bed, like a things. brand new yeah, bed. Like, good, nice things. That Mahogany, they really fucking that room the either. nicest TVs in that room, and no one ever goes in there. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, dude, I, I'm pretty sure I sat with the same bed since I was born, and it's uh, – do you ever get really mad at your mom for weird shit? Like, I get mad at my mom because my TV in the studio is bigger than her TV in her living room. No, I mean, I, I'll tell you when I, what I do is, uh, like, like I'm a parent now. I, I bring that up a lot because it just it has to totally changed and affected the way I, like, view the world. My perception is completely altered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like taking acid every morning. And, <laughs> um, you know, I start to say, like, man, okay, I understand why my mom was so fucking, like, lazy sometimes. Or, like, why she said to me the things that she said. She wasn't lazy. She had kids straight up. She would yeah. say, like, no, nah, I don't. I don't do chores. I got kids for that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I've got these, you know, this little kid and like another one on the way. And I mean, swear to God, yeah, they're going to be trained up. I'm, I'm getting so close to not having to do shit and it's great. You know? uh, that's <laughs> like, awesome. You know? Dude. Uh, uh, yeah. On the league, I was watching the league the other day and, uh, it's like the very first episode. Kevin's talking to this dude, Pete. Mm-hmm. He's like, kids aren't that bad. He's like, we turned Ellie into our little slave. She's sweep. Yeah. She's walking around sweeping. Right. I'm they love bring, that shit. Too. Bringing me beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. They love it. You know? They get really excited because they just have a job to do, you know. Oh, and dude. And then, like, kids kids do weird shit, like, when they don't want to do something. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember me and my sister, Tori, uh, my mom just wanted us to vacuum the room. Mm-hmm. That's it. Just vacuum the room. Yeah. We're like, I don't think could have done vacuum. that Oh, dude, we could have done that. Yeah. We were like, we were like seven. Uh-huh. Uh, instead, we took a book. They have robots now. And scraped the carpet with a book. Wow. Wall to wall, bro. That's a lot of it, commitment. Yeah, it took forever, okay. and my mom was like, "Okay," and, <laughs> I mean, and like we're like we're, we're gonna beat you, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> it took, <laughs> it you, took mom, like two and a half yes. hours, and it could have taken like eight. It was a, it was smaller than this mm-hmm. room, so it's you a small just, fucking sh- room, sh- dude. Yeah. It was beds, but in you there. learned a lesson, I'm sure, somewhere in there, right? Yeah, like right at the very end, okay. when we're getting that like, last little bit, we're mm-hmm. like, "Dude, why didn't we just vacuum?" Mm-hmm. Like it hit us right there in that moment. Oh man, that like 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 yeah, damn, that like we're like it's seven thirty now. Yeah. Like it's dark. We can't even go outside. We my, just My mom just my mom never my mom never let me I don't know. She she was not big on the on the not doing chores thing. You know, it was funny because like on Sundays we were getting we'd get up and we'd know based on what she was doing, what our life was about to be like for the next twenty four oh, hours. Yep. You know. So if she was moving around and it was early, then okay, we're about to go to church, possibly go out to eat afterward. Then when all said and done, we might be able to come home, we might escape having to do any chores. Now she didn't wake up. If it was, you know, 9 a.m. and nobody was moving, then we were like, fuck. Now we know we're about to do cleaning chores fucking, like, all day. top to bottom. My mom is a clean freak, so 
um, you know, Sundays were like, she, you know, she'd kind of butter us up like, oh, we woke up a little late, didn't have to get up and go to church because, of course, that was torturous. You know? Yeah. Um, oh, and I made some breakfast, you know, here's some po- potatoes. Some My mom would do that shit, too. She's like, now we're going to go get Did all the – Did you enjoy that? Now go get the dishes, bro. Fuck, yeah, that's we're going to build a fence. You know? That's you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mom would do that shit, dude. Uh, I remember f- my stepdad was insane, but uh, like he would always he gave me a chore list because I was like an, like I was like basically an only child, especially whenever I was living with them. I had a little sister, but she's I mean we're ten years apart, so and it was his daughter, mm-hmm. right? And so she's also mentally challenged. She's blind, has cerebral palsy, and shit mm-hmm. like that. So I'm the only one doing chores. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so, dude, but my my chore list was literally like I had to clean pretty much the entire house. Every single day, I had to come Damn. home, uh, take out like all the trashes in the house, do do the dishes, clean the kitchen, sweep, mop, like scrub the stove, do all that. Wow. And the, he was OCD too. Oh, wow. So then I had to vacuum the living room, vacuum my room, vacuum the hallway, and vacuum their room, all the shit. And then uh, whenever I vacuumed, it had to be like you know whenever you push it, it's like light. You pull it, it's dark. Mm-hmm. All dark, no lines with oh, light shit. in it. Wow. Yeah, he was crazy. That's yeah. real, actually. Yeah. yeah, I always growing up assumed that every white person had a butler or like no, nah, dude. You know, but I literally would go home and I was usually grounded, <clears throat> so I couldn't even like watch TV while I did it. Mm-hmm. So I usually go home, eat, start my chores. I get so I I start with my chores like around like let's say like four thirty. Uh, I wouldn't be done until like six. Wow, like living on a farm. <laughs> like six thirty, like after school, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't be done till like six thirty. Damn. Seven in the afternoon. Damn. And then I had to do homework, and then that w- I had to be in bed by nine. Yeah, that was my thing too. So like, I didn't, even was even was when I egg. wasn't grounded, yeah, it was like this, there goes everything, That's you funny, know. Yeah. But one time I told him because uh, he was lactose intolerant, right? Mm. Uh, they made like lasagna or something, mm-hmm. and my friend Andrew was like, "I don't want any," and they were gonna make him eat it, you mm-hmm. know. My stepdad's insane, yeah. so I just go, "He's lactose intolerant. He has cheese on it," you know. And they were cool. They didn't have to eat. And then the next day I woke up, and my stepdad was just yelling at me for lying to him about <laughs> Andrew being lactose intolerant. And I was like, dude, I was joking. I thought you knew I was joking. Right. Like, like I didn't up. even know what that fuck that was until, yeah. like, last week. What the fuck do you mean? How do you think I know? What, the, what are you talking about? Yeah. I thought you knew I was kidding. Was He's like, well, you lied to me. So to th- it, we basically spent the whole day tearing up a strip of concrete. Wow. And hauling it out. And wow. then re-pouring concrete. Skylar, I think you could have like, I think you could have survived in my household. Actually, <laughs> you know, I mean, this sounds pretty, pretty reminiscent. Dude. I mean, the slightest thing out of out of place, my mom lost her stuff. It was just my but... stepdad. My mom was, and then she was like bringing all the money in, and she just she had my sister. My sister has all these problems. Yeah. So like, she kind of had a lot of shit on her plate. Sure. So she wasn't stressed. Yeah. Yeah. My stepdad was insane, bro. Yeah. Fucking, he shaved my head. I what? remember that. Yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, I do remember that. He shaved my head. I thought it was just a decision you made. I was like, he's he's gonna stick to it. He made a commitment. No, know? no, he like, just shaved my head. Oh, motherfucker! And then for uh for something I didn't even do, he used to wait. Oh, punishment style. Yeah, what? yeah. It had nothing to do with him just saying, "Hey, bro, I think you need to shave your." No, head. no, no, no. Like my teacher emailed him. Oh fuck! For what? What did you do? Uh, Lance did it. It was my buddy Lance. <laughs> Uh, he cussed in class. We were being jerks, but she didn't do. She didn't say anything in the email that I actually did. Mm-hmm. Uh, she emailed them saying that I told. I called her a bitch after she sent me to the office. Mm-hmm. She didn't even send me to the office. She sent Lance to the office, and he did call her a bitch. Oh. Uh, but he, we, me, and Lance were the one fucking around. Mm-hmm. So she purposely lied to him and told him wow. it was me, not Lance. And then he came in. And I had like my hair was not quite as long as it was right now, but mm-hmm. remember it was pretty long. Mm-hmm. Came in there and she, my mom was out of town. Oh, wow. At a, she's a hairdresser, dude. Yeah. My mom was out of town, and uh, his brother was living with us at the time. Mm-hmm. His brother just walks in and goes, "Dude, I'm so sorry. Wow. I'm sorry this is about to happen to you." Because he knew he knew Mo was crazy. Yeah. And he just hands me the fucking print out of the email, and I just fucking read it and just start crying, dog. Yeah, I knew he was gonna shave my head. Mm-hmm. Came in there and fucking just buzzed it right down the middle Bro. at first, and then just buzzed the rest of it, and then and took you it. You can't tell me he didn't have like a certain degree of pleasure from that. Oh, I mean, I'm sure like, he loved it, dude. You know, he would uh he would like when I was really in trouble, like he, like if I like got in trouble that day. Psych. He would, like, wake me up at midnight and make me go dig a hole and then uh, go get him, show him the hole, and then I'd fill it back up wow. and then I could go to sleep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So just, wow. Tortured. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude was fucking nuts, man. That's crazy. I imagine she's not with him anymore, right? No, dude. He hasn't even seen his daughter in, like, 10 years. He's a real piece of shit. Oh, damn. Well, he sounded like one starting off, yeah. Yeah, he's a real piece of shit. Damn, yeah, my household was the complete opposite. My stepdad is super, super chill. And, like, it was, it'd be funny because my, you know, my, my new stepdad's dad, dope as fuck. He'd look at me and he'd be like, well, she, she's making, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> you, you fucked up. I got to do this thing now, so. What's funny is all that shit was normal to me. 
So I didn't even seem like I had a rough childhood, <laughs> dude. Like it was that was all completely normal. So like I didn't realize it was fucked up until I was like 20. And I was telling the story basically how I just told you. Yeah. And the reactions were different yeah. than I what they I thought they were going to be like, "Damn, yeah, that sucks." They yeah. were like, "God damn, dude. Yeah. Jesus. Really?" And I was like, "Wait, your reaction is like this is a lot worse than I think it is." Cuz mm-hmm. it's just it I dug like tw- I dug, only I dig like five holes. Sure. Once I figured it out, <laughs> We had chain link all on the inside of the uh, picket fence. Mm-hmm. So I just shoved my f- flashlight in that. I could knock that hole out quick, especially since I dug there before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it was already loose, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, and so like like five holes, he was like, this ain't even worth it. Like, I'm, I'm done in like 15 minutes. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. Peace. Yeah, and you know what? I bet you had some, you know, badass arm strength, you know, upper upper body strength while you're going up in the world. Nah, not really. No, I mean, I mean actually, I did. I, I remember. You had you, to. Have. You remember those little fucking uh, pull-up competition? Like whenever yeah. you do like the the Olympics in yeah. like like er, like elementary school. Mm-hmm. I had the most pull-ups. Wow, well, I had the most push-ups. Yeah, I could not do push-ups. Yeah. but I I could pull up for day. I weighed like eight pounds. That was the fastest amount. I mean, I was you know. Oh, I couldn't run either. Yeah, well, I had a. What the fuck is that? No, I'm slow as fuck. The the breath thing. The, where they were like testing. No, whenever you, you know, whenever you like those motherfuckers cough and they're like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, I used to have that. What the fuck is it called? Like what? Like it's like a breathing thing. God like damn. asthma. Asthma. Oh, there, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like what? The, I was like, I know it's yeah. a common thing. Yeah. Yeah. You, like I had asthma mm-hmm. at one point. I don't know what the fuck happened to it. Well, I mean, okay. So here's my thing about asthma. So you know, I, I was nursing before any of this, right? Yeah. Um, and it used to trip me out because, from what I understand, asthma seems like it's in your head. You know, like it. It's, it seems like it's not really there. Yeah. You know, that it's potentially something you, because, I mean, the pattern was that, like, you grow out of it. Um, it's, I mean, you take well, see, quick what, medicine. What we did was, I was doing breathing treatments breathing every treatments, night. Breathing yeah. Every single night. And, like, I was, like, like coughing. Like, oh, dude, it was bad. Like, I got kicked out of class a couple times mm-hmm. because of how loud it was. Like, that's so you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, all I did was stop drinking milk hmm. at night. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden fine. you were getting, you know, probably. Yeah, it wasn't all congested. Yeah. wasn't coughing. Hmm. Went away. Yeah, I believe that. So do you still drink milk? Or no, you drink I don't drink milk. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll eat cereal. Hmm. In, like, nice. But I usually, like, I'm I'm on this, like, I'm trying. I'm not really on a diet right now, but I'm just hmm. trying not to eat, like, that much bread. I'm yeah. trying to watch what I'm eating, eat sure. more vegetables and shit. Sure. Um, I ate a muffin yesterday, and I felt like such an asshole. Mm-hmm. Dude, I, I, I. I enjoyed the fuck out of that muffin. Yeah, I'll bet. It was a chocolate muffin. <laughs> what are you going to do it? I was just smashing my face. I was reading. Too, I was like, this, oh, of course, dude. It had 460 calories worth of muffin. <laughs> it was great. You want one? No, I, dude. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm good. laughs> I like muffins a lot, too. Here's a thing. Yeah. I love cake. Like, it was my son's birthday a couple of days ago, man. Oh, and he man. did not necessarily want a cake. And I was like, no, you're, you're getting a cake. And yeah. I, I I'm a cheesecake guy. Most, dude. Cheesecake. Cheesecake is my kryptonite. Yeah, that that's straight up. Th- Anybody can bring me cheesecake, and they can oh. get anything they want. I, I like the Sarah. Lee, I do. I'll even eat the Sarah Lee pre-made frozen yeah. motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. I, I I try. So like that's the thing. Like you're right. You're not supposed to eat it very much. So I make this rule. Like if I'm gonna eat it, it has to be made. Like and it has to be made for me. Like, yeah. With love and shit. You know, I want to feel that. Yeah. This lady I was delivering yesterday offered me a cookie. I was like, I, I'm not supposed to eat that because I had that muffin already. Oh, yeah, you already I, I was gonna take it. But and I that was would like, have been a fine time to take it. But I was like, I already ate the muffin, so I just told her I was like, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to eat that stuff right now. Or I'm not supposed to be eating that stuff right now. Yeah, I think I'll get it. Right? Do you have to tell yourself like, I don't want that? No, honestly, it's not as hard as I thought. Mm. I've been eating good for like I'm eating like a lot of broccoli, peas, fucking chicken, pork chops. Just trying to cut out like a lot of red meat. I was eating like burgers mm-hmm. almost every day. Have you seen any documentaries? No, yeah. no, no, no. It, it literally was uh. Cause I drink so much. Yeah, I just had like a, I had a gut, man, and mm. like okay. I'm not so I'm, it's purely just. Like, yeah, I've been doing yoga, panic. and I'll ride. I haven't been riding my bike because it's a thousand degrees outside. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it out there? Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, um, but even when I was riding my bike, I was like I was losing a little bit of weight, but I was still hovering like around like 145. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what sucks is that that's a great weight for me, mm-hmm. but I have a, still have that stomach because mm-hmm. I'm drinking. Yeah, so I just cut out bread, and I literally went. I lost like I went from like 147. That I was like 134 the other day. And wow! I, I st- you just have cut out yeah, all st- bread. I drank all nine beers last night. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I feel great. Yeah, too. and that's the other part of it, right? Like you feel better. I feel you don't so realize better. you were feeling shitty, you know, at yeah. some point in time, you know. 
You're like, and then like, so, and I deliver, right? <clears throat> it's not hard at all to not eat pizza. Right. I see that, and I, I see all the dough, and I knew that was what was making me feel like shit. Yeah. And I was just like, so I don't want that. Yeah. And then I passed like McDonald's, Sonic. Sonic's pretty hard because I want a cherry limeade. I'm yeah, like, man, I, I want that. Steer, I steer clear of like anything Sonic related. Why is that? I, you know what? I don't. I don't like any of the experience of doing it anymore. I used to a lot. You know, I, I like to drive up and you know them come out and. Be oh, like, I hate it. Yeah, I used to love that. I used to get off on that. Be like, yep, you fucking gonna go like you know down to with I don't know Elvis or something. I mean, it just felt like something out of 1950s. Just yeah. real chill, you know. Um, and now. I just I want I don't want any interaction with those people anymore. I guess that's really what it boils down to. So if I set like if the Sonic doesn't have a drive through, I just won't go to it. And there's one by my house, and it's so and it's so conveniently located, and I just never go to it, and it sucks. So I mean, I'm what, still for a while. What's your go to fast food? If you're gonna like, do you eat fast food a lot? I don't really eat a whole bunch of fast food. Like we have this guilty pleasure in my house of Taco Bell. You know, oh. like everybody. You know yeah, what I, mean? I do. I only eat Taco Bell when I'm really f- okay. Like, I get Taco Bell whenever it's like I've been drinking already. Yeah. Um, I don't have that much money, and yeah. I still need to buy beer. Yeah, it, you're so right. So I go get a 12-pack, and then I go buy the Taco Bell and get some soft tacos. Mm-hmm. That's, I leave it at that. Or the $5 box. Yeah, if it's like, I go for the $5, yeah. But usually it's just like, give me like 10 soft tacos. Yeah. And then I just bring them home, and we either eat them or we don't. It does but have to be there, this perfect combination. It's like there to things. soak up yeah. alcohol for me. It's not food. It's got to be nighttime, so the sun has to be going. Has to be down. Oh, if you eat Taco Bell during the day, like in the morning, yeah. or if you eat Taco Bell like at real, three p.m., yeah, dude, imagine. Oh my God, that sounds awful. Could you imagine eating like a chalupa from Taco Bell at three p.m.? Um. Well, I, I, I've done it once or twice, but that's the thing. Is like it's this guilty thing. You love it, and then you feel immediately like shit. You know immediately like shit um and then like because of my diet i'm lactose intolerant you know it's funny you say that so um we're uh you know i, I every every morning for like my entire life i have just shit my brains out <laughs> you know what i mean i like, ate that muffin yesterday and i was like i immediately felt like yeah. i gained all of that weight back yeah one muffin i was like I, I felt like shit it affects you so fast your body's so messed up so i ate, realized dude, oh I, i'm not eating it any well i ate it like a gangster dude yeah I, I bought one of those, what are those, are they Haritos? What the fuck, sodas, little oh, fruit punch yeah, sodas? Well, glass bottle. bottle. Yeah, yeah. I, dude, I was in, just in my living room watching Tropic Thunder. Just <laughs> I've watched that movie like seven times in the last like week. Why? Why? What, I, mean, well, I, I just Tropic Thunder. First of all, I just bought it. I, I got it at the okay. flea market the other day. Okay. Uh, and then there's it's just been killing me, man. <laughs> like I've just been laughing so fucking hard. And every time I like every time I watch that, like Robert Downey Jr. in that movie, bro. Yeah, yeah. Is probably one of the greatest characters ever to ever be on screen. Yeah. Not that it's Robert Downey, but he crushed that role so fucking hard, bro. He's a white stone character. He's like, I know, but I don't have to tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't break character until I've done the DVD commentary. Like the, whenever he tries to take the cell phone from him, he's all cell phone. He's like. Wasn't, so, wasn't no cell phones in 69. I'm headed to totally legitimate. Like, he's like <laughs> such a, he's like so into his character. Yeah. I mean, he's a, he's like super awesome actor, which is why that's easy to watch because otherwise that would have pissed me off, you know. Watching oh, dude, that would have pissed me off. And yeah. And like, I expected it to be like a, like one of those, like, oh, I hope. And then I, that's another thing is like, I knew it was good then. Mm-hmm. Did it hold up? It's way fucking better now. It's really? it's so much better now right, than I'll, it was. I'll go for a refresher. I'll throw that in there. Yeah. He's all like, he all sings the theme song to the Jeffersons to that dude. <laughs> the other black dude, and he's like, "That's the same theme song from the Jeffersons." He's like, "Just because it's a th- just because it's a theme song, don't make it not true." Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's gonna. I get it. I get excited about my foods, man. Yeah, yeah, that would have easily pissed me off because I'm I'm on this kick now. You know, I'm on this kick of like, damn, why, like I'm so tired of like all this misrepresentation and like society and um, you know, just like uh, like general politics. You know, everything, just the kind of. I don't know atmosphere. I think it's because right how right. they went about it, though. Yeah, it wasn't Robert Downey Jr. playing a black guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it like was they were addressing he, that. You know, it was I mean? Robert Downey Jr. playing an Australian actor who was playing who's such a character act. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you could have gone about any other That's way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. and then so. Ben Stiller kind of gets slept on, dude. Like that dude's hilarious. <sighs> I love anything Ben Stiller's in. Zoolander is probably in my top like four favorite movies. You know, people are always like talking about Seth Rogen and. Uh, who's the fucking tall dude? Step Brothers, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell is a legend. Though. I mean, yeah, Will Ferrell dude, is a legend, dude, no doubt. Who do you think's done more movies that 
or I mean, they're equally good to one another, right? Like definitely. I mean, yeah, he's Ben he's, Stiller, he's equal. Yeah, dude. Ben I Stiller, The Watch. Have you ever seen The Watch? No. It's probably the one of the watch? greatest movies I've ever seen. Oh, I've never even heard of that. It has Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, and uh, I can't remember the other cat's name. What? It's about this neighborhood watch, who like they get together to be a neighborhood watch to solve this murder. And, like, it turns out it's, like, aliens and shit. 2012, huh? It's hilarious, dude. Okay. I'm going to have to pick that one up. I can't believe I missed it. I got it from, like, a red box. Okay. And then, like... It's one of those, like, you wouldn't go see it. No, I still have it. Would you go to the movie theater and see it it like that? 100%. Okay. I watched, like, it's, like, one of the first movies I watch whenever my internet goes out. Okay. It's like when you you go to shit the internet, so... It's normally what I would be doing with traffic, like, what I'm doing with Tropic Thunder right now. Mm Mm-hmm. Just kind of it's that movie because I love Vince Vaughn first off. Yeah, and Jonah Hill's super skinny in this one. Mm-hmm. Like it's really weird. Like he, at one point he's all like, "Yeah, I wanted to be a cop, but I didn't pass the physical exam, or apparently I didn't pass the health exam or the mental health exam." Like you know what I mean? Like he mm-hmm. names like three things, and then like the third one's like the mental health exam. Yeah, so he just sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. He's right, like right. crazy. I'll you put know it on my list. It's something I'll definitely want to throw up there. So I think I mean, Ben Stiller's fucking hilarious, and that fool was shredded for really? Tropic Thunder. Yeah, she, no, I, I'm telling you, I think I watched Tropic Thunder once, and now it's another thing I'm going to have to just see. Uh, There's so many big names in it, man. Hmm. Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, he does that. What is it, Les Grossman? Yeah, or Les Grossman. Yeah. Dude, he's straight up, he's all, who, who's got a key grip? You. Go over there and punch that director in the face really fucking hard. <laughs> and like, dude, he walks up, he's like, sorry, and just hits the shit out of him. When, when actors like that do roles like that, it makes me feel like they're trying to tell us something, you know? And I yeah. instantly am like, I wonder who in the world is actually like that. Oh, know? yeah, yeah. Whenever they're like, we'll let him die. Yeah, he, like, he knows someone like that. He has to. Bill Hader's character in that shit's so funny. It's like, it's uh, Les's like little henchman. Mm-hmm. He's just like always repeating. He's like, he's like, you, you want the actors to listen? You got to spank their ass. And he's all, spank that ass, Les. Like, <laughs> Bill Hader's fucking a god too, man. Bill Hader is actually, you know, he's Bill Hader actually really impresses me and it trips me out because I, I don't when I look at him I don't want to like him, you know what I mean? But yeah, I look at him and I I I I love him, man. Hot he's Rod? actually a good he's actually a good actor too, right? A great actor. He's you know, he's going to be in this new it. Do you do you follow him? Oh movies? yeah, yeah, that's big horror, horror um, movie, man, so I don't go to the movies. Yeah, I'm oh, man, I go it, to the movies. Well, I, I support the movies. Like, I wish I did, up, man. Yeah. I just I smoke too much. I'm too fidgety. Yeah, yeah. And, you know I mean, like, okay. it's just, I, I, so I mean, like, do you, have you ever been to the draft house or something similar, like the, where they like feed you, no, and no, 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 drink you, and no. it's a lot chiller if you're getting beers brought to you and food. Like, I imagine it's a little so. bit more busy, so you don't feel like you're like bothering anybody. It's a little bit more regal, anyway. Yeah, well, uh, I saw it. it that's what I was. I did see the first one in theaters. Okay, so that's something you would go see. Is what you're saying? Like, well, you made okay, a special I went, trip just to, you had. To I see went it. because my girlfriend's so scared of clowns. Okay. And her brother bought us tickets, so I was like, I get it. It's a yeah. prank. I'll go. You know, like, I want to be there for this. So, yeah, I went. I'm What'd always down for it? a good joke. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. I Did mean, you like, like the original? Yeah. I'm not – I don't like scary movies because mm-hmm. they don't scare me. Dude, they used to really scare me. Mm-hmm. Like, it, when I first watched it, scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. But now when I watch a, a, a horror movie, it's more like, okay – you know, yeah. like I, like it's all jump scares. Yeah, like you just can't put I just that real what I can get. fear. Yeah, I, I swear to God. I I mean I go. But then you this never thing. want that real fear. I actually, you know, like I really want to experience this sheer fucking terror. No, you don't. You know, Cause I, it happened to me the other day. Real, oh, like what? Like what the, pushes you into that? Well, dude, it was just because I was I'd been drinking uh-huh. and I was like about to pass out, mm-hmm. and uh, this lady comes running around my house screaming. Like, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. And I opened the door. And I thought it sounded like she was across the street. She was standing right in front, in front of me. And she was, like, trying to get in my house. Mm. And I literally just started screaming in her face. And it was, like, full adrenaline fear. Like, I thought I was about to kill this lady. Because I thought she I thought she was – because she's just saying he's trying to kill me. So I thought she was trying to kill me. And then I thought that any moment – like, once I realized what was happening, I was like, that guy is about to come around the corner and kill fucking both of us. <laughs> and so I just, like, fucking made her leave. This and happened to you? In yeah, real life? In real life. <laughs> and so I called the cops, and she's just, like, running. Everyone's just no, – no one's letting her in the house. And she gets to, like, this other house, like, down here. I used to know somebody who lived in there, so, like, I always look at that house. Mm-hmm. She's banging on their door. This dude's like, you need to fucking go. I run up to her. I'm like, hey, I called the cops. They're on the way. And she just stopped and took the fuck off running. 
and she had her hand in her purse the whole time. It never clicked with me that she was trying to get me in my house, and then she was going to fucking rob me. Oh, fuck. That's nuts. Yeah. That, that happened today. No, that ha- days. It happened prob- less than a, about a month ago. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. It was when I first moved in here. And whenever I lived so, next door, when they first put that for sale sign out front, mm-hmm. uh, every, like at midnight, motherfuckers would knock on my door to see if anybody lived there so they could squat. And one time I opened it, and this like super old lady in like this weird fur, fur coat, dude. She looked, she was like, you know how animes draw old people? Yeah. Like their like eyes are closed yeah. and shit. Mm-hmm. She looked like that, man. She looked old as shit. Mm-hmm. And then she just goes, it's cold. And I was like, I know it's cold, but you can't be, it's like two in the fucking morning. You mm-hmm. can't knock on my fucking door. Yeah. And I made her leave. Oh, and it like, sc- that like, one scared me do? too. Yeah. That was like, that one, because I didn't, like, I felt like part of me was like, she wasn't even real, man. Yeah. She's a ghost. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that shit was weird. Hmm. Once again, I was pretty drunk. Yeah. But yeah, wow, that, well, that okay. last one, that's why I had a bat. <clears throat> I have not had terror. And I know that it, like something like that is as close as I'm going to get. But like when I watch horror movies, I want to like I want to be where that person is. Oh, like man. I want a full on fucking ghost to be like looking me in the eye and you know, like screaming at me and looking all crazy and shit like that's re- I, I would love literally to felt that. like that until about a month ago. Wow. And then like that, like then that that'll do it. Though, like what, what was weird was like, wow, I I remember when, when I was like screaming at her, mm-hmm. like I would, wasn't saying any words. Mm-hmm. I was literally just ah, like, and then like I was screaming so loud. I did it three times. Like just exhale, breathe in, exhale three times. Mm-hmm. And like the third one, I was like, I don't know why I'm screaming. Oh, okay. Like it took me that long to like, I don't know why I'm screaming. And she looked terrified. Yeah. <laughs> like, I bet, man. Yeah. And then she goes, call, she's, call the cops. And I was like, and I, and without dropping my intense like scream. I yelled why in that same, <laughs> like, why? <laughs> like, dude, it was, I've never felt so out of control of my own body. Wow. But you're like just reacting right there. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, I, I was not, and, that, and that's what I want I was not in control, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. 100%. I was not steering. You were just, someone else was steering this motherfucker. Pilot, yeah. I was watching me do all this. It was weird, man. Out of body experience. Kind of thing. Yeah. I, mm. I would never want anybody to go through that. Shit. Huh. So you're saying that's, but like I say, that I recognize it's as close as it's gonna get. So yeah, you know, when I watch like I watch a shit ton of YouTube's, like dude, go go to go to YouTube. I gotta show you. I this. love you. What are you gonna look up? Uh, so I, I'm about some top shit. five. You ever seen Nukes top five? He's this dude. He, he just collects people's you know videos and I, I listen to of one of their top five guys and he talks like this. No, don't don't watch that guy. You know, I don't know his name. You know what I'm talking I, about? I, I I've gotten sucked into his shit before too. Yeah, thinking like, oh, this looks good, and then I. But the other day, that, but yeah. no one really knows what yeah. happened. <laughs> like he never, yeah. And then he tried and then to promote his down mute. the stairs, and he came like down goes, the stairs. Yeah, yeah. this man. He sounds like he his, never completes the sentence. I like mean, he, he always gets me. His little his little thumbnails always get me. Like every time they look great, don't do they? It. I'm gonna do it. I'm like, and, he, and then at the very end, he's like. If you want to know what I look like in real life, here's my Instagram. Wow, I've never made it to the end. So. <laughs> I've watched like I've probably watched like thirty like, full videos I've never from made that it guy. To the end. I love that shit. Like, and then I, I look up deep web stories, deep like dark dark web stories. Oh no, I refuse to look at those. You know, like I stories just don't from the know. dark web. Well, most know. of the time it's like people like people were getting stalked. Uh, as soon as it starts talking about like the internet, like I got online and I saw this. Like, you know, as soon as it's like a red room or whatever, I fucking turn that shit off. I don't want to know about people getting hurt in real life. No, yeah. That's, uh, I like the ones that are obviously like – they're like we were driving when we were 16. It's just like confession stories mm-hmm. like about like getting stalked or something like that. It's mm-hmm. just yeah, – that, those – because that, that will get me – that's real fear for me. Right. Like that does what a horror movie is supposed to do. I got you. Because like, then I'm like, fuck. Man, yeah. I should, my, my door is locked. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It kind of puts me – in reality, honestly, yeah, I'll bet. it really just makes you think of like reality. Gets like, you out of the bubble. Yeah, out of that, like out of the cloud. The mm-hmm. cloud to the, the cloud. cloud. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just you start looking around. Check, you're like, motherfucker. Check this dude out. His name. His name's Nuke. Nuke's top five. Nuke's top five. I respect him because he. What he does is he sent. You know, he has. He gathers all this. You know, video footage, whatever. And he doesn't give his opinion. He just highlights what they saw or what you know commenters usually see afterward or after a posting. Yeah. Um, it's not always just so obvious, you know. Uh, Almost just clicked on the top ten yeah. nuke model. Yeah. Oh shit! That shit scared me, bro. So don't. I mean, we don't want to like 
robots. So I've never seen any of those. I, I, don't, I, I strictly am sticking to like the ghouls and the ghosts and the things that would freak me the fuck out if I was. Right do you there. watch the Ghost Hunter guy? Uh, I tr- I try I try to watch stuff like that, but only when it's relevant. Like there was one from Amarillo. I had to watch that one. Andrew Santino is a comedian. He's on Joe Rogan not too long ago. Oh, okay. He's been yeah, on, yeah. He's been, on, he's been on a lot lately, but they're talking about him and like I love his point of view of this guy. He's like I love this show. He's like the guy is so, he's like he's literally like one time he like took his shirt off and was like you want to fight like to a ghost, you know what I mean? Like okay. it's like trying to fight a ghost. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'd see that one too. Yeah, I, I I need to find that episode. And that's what I'm saying is like, you know, you're talking about what you like what your body did in that moment, just reacted. I want to know if I was in that moment with these people. Like this one? And wh- how would I react? Would I run? Because I, when I watch them, I'm like, go, run over there. Go see what it is. Like, no, for sure. You know what I really like to look up a lot is like uh, Matrix glitches or like oh, alternate yeah. reality mm-hmm. stories. Mm-hmm. I love that I shit. into those hard, yeah. Yeah, because like, you know about the Man- Mandela effect? Yup. Yup, yeah. dude. How how the Bernstein, the Bernstein Bears? I how bad did that on fuck the you up, bro? Bears thing, like, because I know, I know for that's what got me. It was like the Bernstein Bears. That's fucking crazy. I remember that. Dude, exactly. what kills me is that Jiffy peanut butter never existed. What? Jiffy peanut butter. Like, yeah. I remember it being Jiffy, and then I remember the fucking. I re- I remember asking my mom. I swear to fucking on everything, man. I remember Jiff. asking my mom. I was like, hey, uh, when did they change it from Jiffy to Jiff? And she was swear to God, goes, I, dude, I just got home, Skylar. Like, he was like, one of those, like, she just got home from a long day at work, and I'm asking why she's, like, they changed the name of this peanut butter company. And then after that, I just let it go. Yeah. I was like, okay. And then that shit came out. And, and I was then, like, oh, fuck, oh, wow. I'm not the only one yeah. who feels that way. Like, I remember I was a kid, dude, when I, I was probably, like, 14. Wow. So oh, I, I remember it being Jif, you know. Or it's always Jif. Jif. It's Jif now. Yeah. But I remember it being Jiffy. That's crazy. With a Y. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, it looked the same. Mm-hmm. So they still Just had like the, the stripes behind it. Yeah, yeah. it's the same company. Yeah, and then like, but it never existed. I thought Nelson Mandela was dead. That got me too. You know, I was like, oh, I thought. Oh yeah, that, that, yeah, but in prison. I thought that was what happened. You know? Yeah, the I like when they find residual evidence of stuff. Like mm-hmm. they go back and like the videos. Oh, see, they, and they have they goes. have a, they have a clip of George W. Bush. Uh, one of the junior, which are W, w right? George yeah, W. Yeah, Bush. W, yeah. Um, he uh, he's like talking to people like on stage, like doing a like a. a he's like, what happened to the, da da da's and the Mandela's? Well, Mandela's dead, and like this is while he was president. Like mm-hmm. he's like giving a speech. That's part of his speech is him saying Mandela's dead. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, like it's not just us, right? <laughs> well, like I actually kind of I like the idea of it being an alternate reality, mm-hmm. or like maybe maybe. Maybe our conscience is co- we're conscience we're our conscience so hard to say our conscience we're conscience okay there's no way I'm gonna be able sure, to say the yeah. words uh, anyway so like maybe our conscience is throughout all of these realities yeah and like we're 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 in one of them yeah. right now so if maybe something bad happened and like maybe we died mm-hmm. and now we're are mentally like that 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 little that timeline ended so mm-hmm. we shifted. And just to, to another to one. Just to the one that's right next to it, which is going to be the most like the one that you were in with slight changes. Sure. You know? I think, like, and yeah, because you're an and, expression, right? And then maybe, maybe I wasn't the only one. Maybe, because there's other people here yeah. who maybe aren't in, the, you know, I don't know, who you're started like this one or, you know? or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's so hard to explain. No, I'm with you. But it's, it could be that. I got hit by a car, right? Whenever I was working at Radio Shack, guy stole my phone from me. I chased him out of the building. And he hit me with his car, mm-hmm. right? Uh, since that day, like my life has been pretty dope, mm-hmm. honestly. Like I started doing comedy, mm-hmm. making all these friends, mm-hmm. got like, a podcast, get to hang out with cool people, mm-hmm. I get to go on tour. Like yeah. all this really cool shit happened. Yeah. Right after I got hit by that car. Sure. Up until that point, I was just a normal fucking dude. Mm-hmm. So who's not to say like that killed me? And then in this fucking <laughs> timeline, I what was kind of crushing it. Yeah. And things were working out a little better. Yeah. What a trip. Yeah. I mean, I mean, because literally that's what we are, right? We are. I mean. They're, they're starting to be able to actually, you know, use calculations that you and I probably could well, never Someone's going to clip me saying conscience like that 30 times <laughs> and just send it to me. Conscience. <laughs> <laughs> so, There's no way. <laughs> you know, um, I mean, so, like, it's proven mathematically and all the cool scientists agree, you know, we are an expression, a, a projection, you know. We're, you know, so from our perspective as a, those expressions when we died, I guess from our perspective it would look like we jumped into somebody else's 
streamlined. We're just boom, but we're just actually just you know the expression. But we're yeah, we're already we were yeah. already here, but like for some reason, consciously, yeah. I don't know why I can't say that <laughs> word right now. It's fucking impossible. All right, conscious, conscience. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, it's it's so crazy to think about shit like that. Well, that and then like how Elon Musk thinks, he's like, it's like one, he's like one in one billion chance that we're not in a computer simulation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really crazy, right? Yeah, no, that's. I think about that a little bit too I, much. I think I about that to, all the time. You know, I try not to. I have to like tell myself inject into this reality, like do this thing in this present moment right now. You have to. You have to. You have way. to. There's so <laughs> like, do you remember the first time you were a kid and like your mom went in the store maybe, and you were sitting in the car alone and you had the thought of like, why are we here? What is all this? And like you started panicking and freaking the fuck out, and then your mom walked out of the store, and it kind of got a little, it kind of like calmed down a little bit. Yeah, so I remember doing that, man. I remember you have this moment of awakening, really. Yeah, where you're just like, like, why do we exist? Mm -hmm. And you're just alone, mm -hmm. and you're like, you're you're nine. Yeah, and you're just having this thought of like, what if I'm dead right now and I don't even know it, dude? Yeah, I'd and you just start fucking <laughs> panicking, yeah, dude. Deep, I yeah. really had that thought, man. Wow. Like, and just I started freaking this. I was freaking out, dude. I was having like an anxiety attack. Uh -huh. And then my mom comes walking out of Dollar General. And then you're like sobered. <sighs> like, was, I, a familiar face. Yeah, we're good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, we were pretty religious growing up, so I always had cool questions and Sunday school shit that, that you know nobody was trying to answer, you bro. Know? But like, so this dinosaurs chronology is really fucking me up right now. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, so. I was the worst. Like, they were like, just go to the, go to the main church, yeah. go hang out with your mom in the main yeah, church, just go to the sanctuary. Yeah, you yeah. chill. You know what? We're we're not handling that. So, um, you know, that st stuff really boggled me. But like, um, I remember going like, what if I got a gun to my head and like right before they pull the trigger. I right right before they shoot me, I go. I believe in God now. Like <laughs> I thought that too. Do I get to go to heaven? Does that mean I'm going Be to heaven? Because I confess that, that I love. Is that worth doing? And that they're last just like, and they're just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like this is an so adult. You said I could do whatever the fuck I want. Talking to a, at that last yeah, minute. Talking to an eleven year old. Yeah. But like was, I, I threw that up one day too, and then my stepdad retorted with like, well, what if you get shot? And I was like, oh shit, maybe you're right. Maybe I, if I don't see it coming, what the fuck? What if I die in my sleep? Shit, you know. What if I just? What if I just every night wake up? Or every morning I, when I wake up, just forgive me for yesterday. Or right before you go to bed, you're like, forgive me for all the bullshit I did today, God. Mm -hmm. Or as soon as you, you pray while you're committing the crime. Yeah. What, what about then? It probably does cancel it out, I think, mathematically. Yeah. If you I, are committing a crime and at the same time praying for forgiveness for it. I mean, yeah. so if you'll, as long as you're continuing to do it as you're continuing to do the crime. Who, who's to tell, tell you that, that won't work? Zero balance going, so. Who's to tell you that won't work? It works. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> I mean, it definitely works, you know. It definitely, it has to work because otherwise it'd be pretty empty space. My mom there. will not talk to me about religion yeah. anymore because, because use facts and it sucks. Well, time. just or, like I, like I remember, I challenged my parents. I'm like, y'all are smart people. Like, can we have a real conversation? Well, I told my right mom, now, dude. I yeah. was like, look, you read the Bible every day, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah. I was like, so why do you have to go down to the church and have that guy tell you what it means? Mm -hmm. I was like, I've gone through like so many different like youth pastors, mm -hmm. and then they read the same shit every year. They don't read the Bible from front to back. They yeah. pick and choose, and they tell you it's the same bullshit every year. And yeah. I went through three of these guys, and mm -hmm. one one year, one of them read this verse to me and told me this is what it meant, right? Mm -hmm. And then the next year, new guy read the same verse, told me it meant something different. Right. Third year, new guy, same verse, something different than the first two. Yeah. So who really knows what the fuck it means? And like. Now my my mom doesn't like questioning her faith at all. So, well, I, I mean, I, I question why you can't in a church like treat like there's nothing in life that if you committed your life, your money, because you know you pledge money most <laughs> most times, you know, like you really get behind something, you're gonna know know everything about it, like where it comes from, like why it's here, like what you're supposed to be looking to do. So I think it's strange that they don't teach when they have a congregation of people who learn from them. They're not teaching them you know, the history of where they are and what they're doing and, like, things that you would take in. I went to Abilene Christian my first semester out of high school, right, dude? Big fucking mistake. But I learned a lot. I saw a lot about, like, how, you know, these, like, hardcore Christians, like, educate, essentially. And so... Um, oh teach about it. Yeah, yeah so you would learn about it. you'd say oh jesus came from this you know point in time if he existed and these were the things that he would have thought at that time you know this is why this was relevant this is why this was you know, structured this way you know and then you get to make a little bit more sound decision you don't have to have someone interpret it for you well right? I, I just hate that you're not even allowed to ask questions mm -hmm. yeah. like dude 
you're just that's that's a fucking no no, yeah. man. You don't ask questions. You just do it, man. Just yeah. do it. If you ask questions, then you stand out, and then people just yeah, because it's this thing too. It's this yeah. like whole social, you know. I've been baptized three times. I, I've hit it twice. I think three times. I think if I count my birth, you know. The, oh no, not that one. We were Catholic I, I growing they, up. If they did that, then four. Oh, wow. but yeah. no, I've I've. Well, you should be good. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I think that's... I've been triple dip, dog. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think you'll be all right. I went for that triple dip, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I should be three coats. I mean, that's, yeah, that should that's be a enough lot to get you of through. holy and, like, water. You're not a murderer. You don't rape people. You know what I mean? Just so just a podcaster windows, you know? who says some fucked up yeah. stuff. You know? Yeah. So I mean, I think you should be all right. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I mean, I guess it depends on how long you live. Right? Yeah. So. Do you have to re I've sometime. had I had my mom cry on Mother's Day one year, and I had my dad tell me I was going to hell on Father's Day one year, same year, oh, because shit. both of them wanted to talk to me about religion oh, on that How holiday. How old were you? Uh, like two years ago. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 like two, You're like, wait, like, you want to have twenty? A talk with like twenty-seven? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a meeting, or you know, we just? Well, I was like on the phone with my dad. Yeah. He kept talking about religion. I was like, I want to, I don't, like, I don't want you to bring it up, man. Stop. Mm-hmm. And then finally, I get mad enough, and I'm like, hey, You want to do this? Let's do this. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. And just, I really go in for it. Yeah. My mom likes to ask me to pray at like Thanksgiving. I'm like, Come on now. Yeah. Like, serious? Like, <laughs> come on. I just, well, it's yeah. That's, and like, that's another thing because my dad, they both do this thing where they're like, I'll pray for you. You know. And here's another thing, uh, like. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth because every person I know that's really, really, really religious in that way, mm-hmm. that's kind of pushy about it and stuff, also is like really shitty on internet with only political posts, mm-hmm. and they only they only post things that say the liberals are wrong. Whenever mm-hmm. I can see from both sides how both people are wrong, you know how yeah. easy it'd be for us all to just be good people and kick it. Yeah, no, people are dude, just wrong. You know, in e- dude, dude, think about that. But then, but then again. I'm saying that it'd be super easy for us to just kick it and hang out. Yeah. My best friend stole from me this week. Right. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah. eventually things like that happen. So Yeah. So well, then who, what the start. fuck do I know? No, I mean, there's a balance in there. I know it. I know it's there. You know, I just think we haven't got there yet. But um, there's a way we can all have everything we need and we can all work really hard to be better, too, if you want to. You know yeah. What I mean, it's, it's in there. We just haven't found it yet. We're still pretty young, right? I mean, here's the thing: is there? I mean, does any other country have this much shit going on? Like, uh, like other than like North Korea and shit. Like, no, what about? We're what definitely, about, you know, the single mom with like several kids, and you know, you that's like a great way to parents, put it. You know, that's a great way to put it. You know, we got that neighbor who's really nice and will watch the kids sometimes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> who's the uh, who's the single like. Cool, single man, like cool, cool yeah, yeah, cool, cool dude. Who's the who, single who's cool the, dude who, who's in gonna Jamaica? Help make that Brady Bunch, I guess. Uh, hmm, I guess I, I'm I, gonna go ahead and say it'd probably be. This is I'm saying Jamaica. Oh man, I want I want to say it's China, dude. China. I, mean, I think it should be like that. I think it's. I think and he's just like suave. China, like man, I don't know. See, China's not suave because he's China, right? Yeah, but yeah. He's secure. He knows he he's he gonna be all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, but w- so once you're done hoeing around, single white lady, then I don't know, man. China. I don't know why she's white now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's see. I feel I feel like we could do better than that. Okay, better right? than China. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so I mean, she's gonna. Well, have I don't know. I guess if we're, if we're going for like. Like he's like the Barney off of uh, How I Met Your Mother. Then yeah, you're right. It's probably China. I mean, think about him. He's this. He's this. You know, China's this. You know, well to do. He's he's good with family. He's the guy you settled down with, right? You know. It's Otherwise, you're hoeing around, and it's just like Jamaica. Yeah, man. I, I had no, Jamaica. That see, Jamaica. Crazy. Jamaica's like, I like if I was the country, right? If I was, if like if we had to put our friends into a country, and like I'd be Jamaica right now. I okay. Think. Like the dude with the girlfriend, who like. It's going great. We're not married. Yeah. Like, we've been together for seven years. We're not. We're not married. We don't have kids, but we're doing our own thing. Mm. We're fucking doing it together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I Shit like you. that. Like we do it. It's fine. It's cool. We're doing okay. Yeah. We're doing okay. It's True. not great. Yeah, I got you. We're poor. I got sure, you. Sure, we're poor, but we're loving it. But you're like you're richer than most people in the world, right? Yeah. Now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm doing. Yeah, I am doing. Like I'm. I'm broke as. Fuck. I, I don't make fuck. I don't yeah. make money worth shit. Nope. But I am doing better than most people in the world, which is really sad to think about. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a trip. Even like, on your worst. My day, bills right? are shut off right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I got yeah. you. Yeah. I'm about to miss my second car payment. If yeah, I hurry. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, for real. And then like it sucks dude, to know that yeah, that's where I'm, at. Yeah, I'm probably be- I'm probably better off than half of the country. 
Yeah, yeah. And I hate to do any fear mongering, but this recession, like, and of course, my grandmother, who watches everything on the news and stuff, hit me with it this morning, and I just saw it on like the my phone last night. So she was like, you know, we're heading for a recession. Now that's going to be your slogan for the next oh like, my god six months. Everything's going to be like you got to blah 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 because. There's going to be a recession or we're going to a recession. Of course. We're, there's a bubble, man. Right. You, I mean. Have you watched any of YouTube? Like, speaking of YouTube videos, that's another one I love. The category one? is watching um, people like explain. explain deep state and like. Well, no. People explain w- how they can prove that there, there's going to be another collapse <sighs> coming I soon. I, I won't like, dude, it, like 100%. Like, there's just a bubble. And it's like uh, – they, they've been able to break it down mathematically to be like, see, there was a bubble, and it broke here, which is what happened in the Depression. Mm. And then another bubble happened in, like, fucking, I think it was, like, 2008 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Housing crisis, all that shit. Mm-hmm. And they were like, that was when the bubble broke, and we went to a recession. Mm-hmm. Got really bad for a while, and then we were able to pull ourselves out of it. And they're like, this is by far the biggest bubble we've ever had. Wow. And then it's like they keep saving it so and then just letting it build. Like it's like the the debt and the, yeah it's like it's trim it's very scary. Wow, no, I'm you're gonna have to show me something like that sometime. That's I remember I used to have this video saved. There was another video I had saved about uh, like mind control, like with TVs, like why the TV was even made and like how the TV's dangerous and all this shit, Whoa. like just televisions. Damn. And the the audio was removed from it. Really? Yeah. It was I had it saved. And like audio I don't know, was removed from it. Yeah, audio was removed from the one on YouTube and that one. Someone's got to have it somewhere. It's the internet. It's yeah, the internet. I I don't know how it got like I don't know how it got removed on mine. Hmm. Like I had recorded it. Hmm. And but like the audio, it played the video, but the audio wouldn't work. Yeah, and I'm about to, to the YouTube. point where I, when I see something on YouTube that I feel like, oh shit, this isn't gonna be here for very long. I'll just download it straight up. Yeah, I'll just download it, put it on my computer, and like I should have a list of like because like that was a it was a really really good. I mean, it was perfect. Hmm. And then, like, it explained, like, how, um, which is, like, the target for televisions for children, really. Right. Like, they love when they get, like, when they get you addicted like us. And Start we, early. And we, yeah, and we play video games, mm-hmm. and they love that. That's what it's Just meant digesting for. digesting all of that. It's, yeah. it's like, you, you explained it earlier. Mm-hmm. Pretty much what the primary control, what, the, what TV is meant for mm-hmm. is to teach you mm-hmm. how to react Whenever you've been in a situation, right? When you're in a situation you've never it's been just in, training, yeah. So when, it, like, you explained it, when you're like, you tell your kid, don't act like that kid on TV. Mm-hmm. That means you're they're in a situation right now that they've never been in before. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to react. So exactly. it's, what they do is they monkey exactly. see, monkey do, yeah. and they just mimic what learn. they saw on TV. You laugh probably like your parents laugh at the same things your parents. Like so laugh at, in order know? to like, and so through that, they can teach these kids. That's why all these fucking assholes play Fortnite and dance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> Seriously. That's it. That's it's because of shit like that. Yeah, and like, it's nuts, man. Like no, it's right. really it's it's one like, television programming mm-hmm. is the best term for it. Mm-hmm. And like, so I, l- I have to look at it in a particular way because you know the, the line of work I'm in. I'm in technology, right? So it's it's always going to be there. You know, yeah. it's always there for me. Like I have to like tell myself, all right, put this down. I got to go chill out for an hour maybe you know without yeah dude you literally came over to my house with your own internet yeah i mean i carry (laughs) wi-fi with me so i'm sure i have cancer somewhere right that's gonna happen probably but um you know we you know we're gonna be in front of these screens all the time so i have to like temper this like i'm raising these other little people also like you know i have to use it for work so do i say no fuck that or do i just say okay you know let's take a conscious you know control of where that like hypnotism is is happening. You're going to be hypnotized all day. I Let's think talk about what you're, you're being hypnotized by. Like develop some good habits. You know. See, I think the best thing, and it's not like it, not everyone can do this, mm. would to be like I grew up where when okay, we didn't really watch TV in my house mm-hmm. when I like when I like my first stepdad, right? Mm-hmm. His name was Dennis. He passed recently, but like he pretty much raised me, right? Mm-hmm. So what we did. Was on the weekends we were either at the lake mm-hmm. or at the river. Mm-hmm. Either we're either in a boat or on dirt bikes, right? And then whenever I come home, we were riding bikes outside. We were working in the like on motorcycles in the garage. I was either skateboarding. Like I would try to watch, or would try to watch TV, mm-hmm. and they'd make me shut it off and go outside. Hmm. You gotta go outside. Mm-hmm. Just go outside. And uh, I literally, it wasn't until I was like ten when my mom and him split up mm-hmm. that. 
my mom's now a single mom. Mm-hmm. Um, we're living in a duplex. Mm-hmm. She's got to work. Uh, she can't afford a babysitter. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm home mm-hmm. by myself. Mm-hmm. What all I did was watch TV. Right. right? Yeah. And then I got a Nintendo 64. <laughs> and then so all I did was play video games. Yep. And I I remember like I I had to think about it. I I did not remember a time before TV. Mm-hmm. And then like I had to really really think about it. And then all of a sudden like all these memories started coming back and I'm like, "Oh shit." Wow. Like I almost forgot that I used to race dirt bikes. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. I almost forgot, forgot about that. that. Piece of your life. Yeah. Because I've been, dude, I'm just glued to a screen, mm-hmm. man. So I think for the best, like, honestly, like, I play, I was allowed to play video games when we went on ski trips. Mm-hmm. That was pretty much, they would break the Sega out for long trips. Oh, okay. When we got to the, like, cabin or whatever, uh-huh. we could hook it up, we could play it. Mm. And then, uh. Were your parents pretty young? Yeah, I think my mom had me whenever I was, like, well, she was. 22 or 24. Okay. I mean, so not super young. So my parents, my mom had me when she was like 16. Oh, 17, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. My so mom like had developed a career yeah. in uh, cosmetology. Oh, wow. And then decided to have a... And then my That's dad, cool. my dad just... My dad. Yeah. Yeah. It was in Illinois. Yeah. We all, yeah. We all have dads that do weird stuff. Yeah, he does like... He details cars. Yeah. He's a bad motherfucker. That's really cool, yeah. He's yeah. Cool he a uh, third degree black belt. No shit. Yeah, it my, saved his my life. Dad also, some brown belt, something or other. That's what got me into taekwondo back in the day, you know. Dude, Master Lister gave him Master his third degree. Lister. His third degree, um, saved his fucking life, dude. Guy walked up behind him and was like, "You're my first kill here," and slit my dad's throat while he was cleaning his car, and just started stabbing him. My dad got the knife back from him, fucking tried to stab that dude <laughs> back. Yeah, and like it cut his jugular, like like it cut the tip of his finger off. Whenever he grabbed the knife, they were able to sew it back on because he plays guitar. He was tripping about that. And, like, I actually really hadn't seen my dad. I was 10 when this happened. Uh And so, like, the first time I really remember seeing my dad, dude, was, like, we flew out to go see him. And he had, like, stitches and staples and shit. It was nuts, man. He's a fucking beast. Jesus. All right, well. Gangster. That's cool. Here's to cool dads out there, man. Yeah, dude. (laughs) Fucking ninja. Yeah, Mm. he still trains. (laughs) He's still, like, yeah. Like, 50-something. He does a lot of training. I think my I think my parents had like a ten year difference, mm, okay. nine maybe eight something like that. Yeah, it was, it was, I remember thinking when I was younger it was significant. Mm. The older I get, it doesn't that seem that like a big spot. Yeah, I mean I say that you know my parents were super young, so like they liked they loved what was coming out. They loved the trends. They loved the cable. My my stepdad got us some. You know he had, we had all the channels. You know it's a special something or other. You know? I I bought my mom or or I think she paid for it, but I went and picked up the flat screen for her. Oh wow. And, yeah. like, I had to measure because she didn't want to get rid of her old school entertainment center. Yeah. So I had to measure one that could fit in the hole that was supposed to have a 55-inch, like, old school tube wow. television. Yeah. Yeah. We had a big one. Yeah. My, so my stepdad loved technology. He loved electronics. And that's – so we had a really we had a really cool, like, setup for entertainment, but we couldn't fucking touch it. So, like, it was, like, special nights. Like, oh, shit, we're going in the den. Fuck yeah. You know, like, so he had, like, stacks of CDs, dude. I mean – I remember having computers like probably before most people did just because they were young and they like trendy stuff. So, I mean, because of that, we watched TV a lot. We watched HBO. We watched a lot of the like Tales from the Crypt. Do you remember, Ch- do you remember Tales yeah. from the Crypt? I was just thinking of the, the Christmas album they put out. Tales from the Crypt? Yeah, they had like a, like, like a Christmas album. Oh, okay. So like just a, like a whole bunch of Christmas episodes? It, or? Uh, songs. Songs? Yeah, and there was this one. It was – I'll see if I can find it. Uh, but go ahead, yeah. Huh. No, yeah, no, tells I mean, from the like, crypt, tells from the crypt. Yeah, so I mean, um, you know, we watched cool shit like that all the time, and Tales from the Crypt. I just I don't know how to spell it. It was funny because they, um, like, I I could watch the whole intro. You remember the intro? The intro scary as fuck, right? I mean, you just you open this little wrought iron gate. It's dark and stormy, and it's just like this camera that like flows into the house. It's all creepy and shit in the house. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I actually okay. do. Okay, so um. You know, I could watch all that shit. I was good. I was really little at the time, like four, I don't know, five, six. That's why you like horror movies. Yeah, dude. I, I, and so I was thinking, they scared the shit out of us, man. They scared us. I mean, horror movies, yeah, absolutely. So, like, it, I'm sorry. So I digress. They they just, uh, so Tales from the Crypt, they love to scare me. And, um, you know, I would watch up until the point where the Crypt Keeper pops out and does his thing, and I'd cover my eyes that part, you know. Yeah. Um, and I would rely on my mom to tell me when it was over, you know, yeah, even yeah. though I could hear it. I mean, I just was waiting for him to totally be off to the screen. Um, and, you know, a couple once or twice they got me with like, oh, OK, you're good now. And then like just a flash of him right there just scared the shit out of me. And like they would just crack up. Uh, one time they pretended like there was a monster who had like taken them and they had the old school phones. 
that speakerphone. They would turn their speakerphone oh, yeah, yeah. on, and they would be like, Tyler, Julian, y'all are bad at church today. You know, we're gonna See, <laughs> having young parents has to be kind of cool. <laughs> so we got a lot of that stuff happening, you know. Like, on, like I, I was telling my friend that the other day. I was like, man, one of my friends has, like, three kids. Mm -hmm. Has his first one in middle school. Wow. <laughs> You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was like, I kind of, I like watching all my other friends have kids and go through this shit right now. I'm, mm -hmm. I feel like I would, would, I would have rather done it the way he did it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because like, like earlier, right now mm -hmm. they're like, dude, they're almost, they're like in high school. He's yeah. just kicking it with his kids. Yeah, they're buddies. Yeah, like yeah. he's still dad. Of course, right? He commands respect. Like, yeah, but they're really well behaved. Mm -hmm. He had, he's one of the most relaxed, calm, chill because he. He had to learn really fucking early to have patience with that's people. True. Like he, he's just a really good dude. Yeah, that's good. And like, so I was like, man, if I, if I could do it again, if I really wanted to have kids, which I don't, mm -hmm. um, but if I wanted to have kids, mm -hmm. if I ever had the thought, I knew I didn't want to have kids really early on. Yeah. Like as soon as my sister was born, like most people are like, fuck, I'm having a kid, uh -huh. and they're like they're they're like really really scared of having a kid, and they're scared of the best case scenario is that you have a healthy baby. Yeah, that's the best case. And that's what you're terrified of. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I got to see the flip of it where my, my little sister, like, uh, she came out, and she had cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot scarier. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, I immediately knew, like, I don't want to have a kid. There is that, like, dark side of, like, having to deal with stuff, and, you know? Yeah, it's super scary, yeah. man. Like, it's, and it's, it's just, I mean, it's out of nowhere. You know what I mean? But, like, so, like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like my boy Javi did it correctly, where he's, He's fucking kicking it. He's a nice guy. He's got three kids. They're, they're all nice people too. They're g great dudes. Mm. His brother's a good dude too. Oh well, yeah, I did find that Christmas wrap I was looking for. <laughs> oh, sh really? Let's see. I gotta make sure I don't get a. You don't. You never saw this. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> How old is he? Wait, what this is all this out? shit. It's really dude. old, okay. Listen here, St. Nicholas. <laughs> Christmas Day is near. Me and all my fiendish friends have something you should hear. Kids you never saw this? No, bro. Hell, never. Two like Christmas <laughs> too. So write down everything I say if you know what's good for you. Jason wants a brand new look. His is a disgrace. This time he would like a mask. With Robert Redford's face. Freddy wants it's terrible. Yeah, it's, awful. <laughs> it's just super funny that that exists. <laughs> I remember right, well. I remember we had this when I was growing up. Like my step my step my sister's dad. Uh -huh. He had a, he was super into music and uh like sa audio systems and oh, stuff. Okay. Like he that's what he loved to do is build sound systems for cars mm -hmm. and theater systems for houses. Like mm -hmm. he fucking loved audio. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I remember. He was going through CDs. He had this fucking Tales from the Crypt CD, and I remember, <sighs> I remember actually like listening to it. I, I'm pretty sure I know most of the words to that song. <laughs> you should have gone for it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I felt you wanted to jump off right there. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I just knew it. Was, I know it's. I know how bad it is. I know the words. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Tales from the Crypt CD. No. Yeah, I, I think they're. I think they're rebooting a lot of these stuff. Like a lot of the stuff that you know hit us because now we're the target, right? Now we're right, yeah. spending money. You know, well, that's what's so great about South Park. It's like it felt like when we were growing up, like it, it was targeted towards the kids with the kids. Yeah, yeah. And now <laughs> it feels like, like I relate to Randy so hard. <laughs> I love Randy. Ra yeah. Randy and Butters. Once again, like there's Robert Downey Jr. as in in uh, Tropic Thunder. Randy and Butters. Those are the three best characters ever made. Okay. Of all, like, of, all, of time. all time. Okay. It's because Randy's so good, dude. Man, so, you know, I never really got into South Park. My, why not? My mom would not let us watch that show. That shit, was so. why I loved it. It was because I, mean, I wasn't supposed to watch it. We just, we just couldn't see it, so I never got into it. And then by the time I hit college and everybody, you know, high school and college, everybody was watching it. I mean, by then, Family Guy was running around and... You know, I just miss. I missed the train. I really did. Can you, do you, I've tried. I've tried watching it, bro. You just like, don't like it. When I was younger, like as in college age, like I could watch it. I think it's don't watch funny. it like the first season. Okay, See, don't I watch like the to watch things in order. I'd be like, I'm starting all not, the way with the first. It's not. Like, you don't have to do that. Okay. Go to like season like. At least go to like season seen, ten. I was at my buddy's house a while back, and here in Amarillo, and I had to. You know, we were sitting there chilling, and I watched it. I watched whatever was on that night, and. 
I just didn't impress. I was just like, oh, these are funny. These are clever, I guess. But I fucking love that show. Yeah, I just can't get with I it. have both games. Don't hate me for not liking South Park. I love the South Park games. They're fucking funny. Yeah. The games? Yeah. Huh. And they're like, they're really good. Really? Like, yeah. They're they uh, love. They're like a, the first one's kind of like a, like Skyrim. Mm. Like you have like potions and it's like. It, but it's kind of like Final Fantasy where it's like turn for turn. Oh, okay. Like, you know what I mean? Turn so based is it the fight. Professor Chaos or something? Or? Uh, that's the second one. Okay, because I've like, seen that. When you do the super, it, that's the fractured butthole. Okay. <laughs> the first one's called The Stick of Truth, where it's like it's like medieval. Hmm. And yeah, dude, it's so really. like Skyrim, kind of. Yeah, so it's okay. like kind of like the like medieval feel, but they're, like you're in South Park mm-hmm. and you're like. Keep you keep getting gear. It's like you know, funny fucking shit. Okay. Your gear or whatever, mm. like a dildo for a sword, shit really? like that. Yeah, yeah. And then like you just, yeah, you get like shipped armor and stuff like that. And then the second one, you're superheroes. Okay. So you keep uh getting new so powers. I think I've seen. Yeah. And then the, the powers can. equally funny here. They just. Oh yeah, dude. So like the first one, they both kind of rely on farts a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of fart. You get yeah. to fart so much in that game. Yeah. That was, and I, I like I, this. I'm probably weird for this, but I hate fart jokes. Like I hate. I'm not a big I fart joke guy. Jokes, I'm like, not. A, I don't like sex jokes. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't like. I'll do them every now and then. Like I, I feel like clever sex jokes, yeah, or clever fart yeah. jokes, or whatever. But like, there's, there's like, a, there's definitely a, it's a tool in your kit. But, but if you you're like, I was fucking it. this girl, yeah. and you're like, oh come on, yeah. dude, write a joke, yeah, write just, a fucking joke. It's cool, you know. We I was know banging were, her. You were convulsing, you know. I was freaking banging her. <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, dude. No. I'm about to go get a cigarette, man. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. We can keep recording that. if you want. I'm gonna come back. Uh, yeah, we can or we can wrap up. It's up to you. Uh, let's, yeah, let's push, push. I didn't. Get, I left my fucking water. All right, cool. Bada bang, we're back. Very nice, dude. This has been a lot of fun, man. Yeah, I'm really Thanks glad. for having me. Yeah, I'm so glad you came out. Oh, I should have stretched bad. before I hit record. Yeah, we should have done the just a quick little warrior, some opening. <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah, dude. It's funny that you brought up yoga because I've been doing yoga. I, nice, I right? did it strictly for like mental purposes. Like, really? like man, yeah. I to like first off stretch to feel better. Like mm-hmm. that was I I'd been doing normal stretching. I was like, man, maybe I'll try yoga. Yeah. But it was more for like just a better pers- daily perspective. Okay. To like wake up and not be just like fuck, I got to go to work. Like, more like discipline. More like eh, I got to go to work. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? But whatever. Fuck, my girlfriend's calling. <laughs> Damn it, one sec. It went back again. I should have just cut <laughs> out that first part, but I'm not going to. <laughs> this is no one. You think we're professionals around right, here? This yeah, is no. that's ridiculous. It's a podcast. I don't even remember what the fuck we we're talking about. Yeah. Um, I know I'm going to show you this video because you said you didn't know who Token was. Uh, mm. Before I do that, you, do you have anything you want to plug, man? Yeah, no. So um, you know, actually, I the past four weeks I go, I, I think I just launched my new spot. It's uh, Hub City Tech. So we're between here, Plainview, and Amarillo. I'm sorry, here, Plainview, and Lubbock. Yeah, um, we, so it's tech everything. I just, what I was doing was I was in technology. I was, uh, you know, I was d- director for this, like, I'm not even going to say, but I was, I did this thing for this, for this business and yeah. I helped build this like beautiful technology thing. And it really got me, you know, it really dipped into marketing and it really got me understanding like, man, we here in West Texas just don't use the tools that we should be using to be like awesome. It's 2019 and you know, maybe like 10 years ago, it was expensive to get a lot of this stuff like, you know, um, digital marketing, you know, real, you know, push for things you're doing on Facebook, like typical marketing campaigns like we talked about with, yeah. you know, video series and, um, you know, websites that are responsive, applications like that are for your business. Things like that used to be hella expensive to get. And it's 2019 now and it's less expensive. And I love going to these big metro areas that are doing these crazy cool marketing things, making lots of money, but also making a really cool experience for people because that's, let's be honest, I mean, in this area, we, we want a lot of more of experience. We've got the lake, we've got Wonderland, we've got, yeah. you know, some things to do, but we, when we go to, we really love our restaurants, we really love our bars, we really love the barcades, and so that's, you know, everything that's coming up, I just, I want to help give them the stuff that really seats them in the community because they're, they're, they're a staple of the community, you know, um, so it really seats them and then helps them to just kind of propel. So the technology we bring, we like, you know, we can make anything custom. Obviously, this basic state of the, you know, typical uh, IT services, my computer, my printer, my whatever. Uh, you know, we can build applications for your business or your, your house or whatever. Smart house. I'm really big on smart homes right now. Um, you know, just anything. So it's it's this, it's called Hub City Tech. 
and we just want to make sure we, we get to everybody. So, you know, I'm from Amarillo. We're thinking about opening up a sector out here uh, in Amarillo, um, which would be really cool. Uh, just like a few examples, I wish I could, I should have brought one to show you, but we're working on this thing, the hologram um, display. And I mean, we can put in 3D images and uh, logos and stuff like that. And it's just, it's this tiny, it's this tiny thing. And it's just really cool. It looks 3D and it looks, yeah. looks like something you'd like to have at, you know, any establishment. So. Um, the other thing that, you know, like I said, smart homes, I just, we're building a smart mirror and that's, I'm sure, have you ever seen one of these before? No. It's great. It's great. It's so cool. Um, it's like, you know, a full length mirror, however, si whatever size you want it. And on once it's a two way mirror, so, or one way mirror, I'm not sure what the difference. But, yeah. Yeah. No, sure. um, but yeah, you can see in from one way, right. If there's dark behind it. So there's a screen behind it and we can put modules in there that, you know, are responsive. They've got your calendar. They've got, you know, your, the things that you like to do. NFL scores. Uh, That'd they can be play fucking videos. sick. And dude. so, I mean, like, and it's really cool because we can even get so down to the detail as putting in a camera that recognizes who's sitting in front of the, the mirror and then it's showing you what's relevant to you, what you've, you know, told it to do. Wow. You know, and I mean, it's just like, that's, that's, it's not that expensive. That sounds like, you know, wildly expensive and it's not that bad anymore. Yeah, it sounds like something like Dr. Evil would have. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool. I mean, it's fucking sick. It's, it's so, like, we think about smart homes. You know, my house is completely wired up. It is Google everything. I've got internet <coughs> everywhere, screens Are you everywhere. an iPhone guy? I'm an Android user. Yeah. yeah. This is a Google Pixel, probably the best phone out there right now. I s recently went from Android to iPhone. I was just so mad at my Samsung. Yeah. And I love it, dude. It, Honestly. I mean, it's, it's a phone. It's, it's a good experience. I mean, they put a lot of money and a lot of time into it. It just, it's not, it's so, I don't like being limited, you know? That's so fair. That's just, fair. Yeah, that's being very fair. Anyway. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I'll, I actually will have that smart mirror in the next couple of days. Uh, and if they, uh, you know, if anybody follows me on Facebook or visits the website. Do you um, have an Instagram? Um, we don't have an Instagram yet. Uh, there's not much to show, you know. Yeah. And so that's what we're trying to do is build a lot of things to demonstrate because, you know, another part of it is, you know, a lot of people, if you haven't seen these things, you're kind of, you don't really imagine these things. So I have to show it to them. Yeah. Um, so I'm building everything, you know, one by one just to show people, look, look at this thing and look how fast it can be done and look just the experience you're getting, right? So the smart mirror, what we're going to do is we're going to raffle off um, – this smart mirror here in a couple of days and uh, you know we'll demonstrate we can put alexa on it or google home, google what home whichever one you want um yeah. as you know tell plays music it's really really cool that is awesome, it just makes you man. feel cool i mean so yeah we're, we're working on things like that and you know we're just we're trying to get out there man and so um you know i like i said i really appreciate you having me on your show dude i appreciate that's, you coming uh, on i wish we had talked more about that at the beginning no dude that was it's a small plug i mean it's just something we're doing um it's but the other really side cool. of it is trying to establish just good ties with what's going on in the community. So like, you know, we look at what's going on with the Amarillo like comedy scene that we talked about that a little bit earlier. That's yeah. explosive. That's really cool stuff to watch. And I mean, you being on the inside, I don't know if like you and the other comedians are able to see it for that or all the time. I don't you see know what like I mean? That. Yeah. It's, I mean, you had, I mean, you had a full house the other day and yeah, like, that was that weird. Was, that was, that was one. It, it was, was a, in so incredible. Yeah. It was how many people showed great up turnout, and, you know? And so, like I said, we talk about that and the different art scenes. Like Amarillo is really, really trying to progress, and I love knowing that about my hometown, right? Um, and so, you know, a big part of it is establishing these ties with, um, you know, everybody that we've grown up with, so that we can keep it the momentum yeah. going. The sod poodles turned out to be something way better than I thought was going to happen. Yeah, Do you know what that's I mean? very true. It I'm was a culture thing. I'm, I'm into it. Yeah, and yeah. it's a culture thing. It like, made Amarillo feel weirdly it was enough. Vitalized or something. Well, like, no, like, like, uh, but you felt connected. I mean, there's something yeah. we all actually do, you know, can get behind together. I you finally know? understand why people are like, I go for the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, Does it makes sense. And I, cause I'm the same way. I don't really know sports or sports well, teams. So like, I'm a Bears fan, it, but yeah. like, I've just been a Bears fan. Like, okay, I, that's that's just, I don't do. have like a heart love for them. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, it finally, like, I will go for the Sod Poodles. Mm -hmm. It finally made sense to me. Mm -hmm. Why somebody from Dallas is like, I like the Cowboys. Right. It's because they're here, they're there. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. something you can. It's your, your city, and like we just even our baseball team before we. I mean the Sox. Mm -hmm. No one really wants to go see them play, man. Okay. It was really bad. It was really bad. Hmm. And so I thought it was gonna be the same turnout with this, but it finally makes sense to me. Like I'm a Sox Eagles fan. I haven't, huh. I haven't been to a single game. But yeah. I'm, right. I'm like same I hope here. they. But In I my heart. I uh, hope yeah. they fucking win. Yeah. I really, time, right? really hope they win. Yeah. Like, I'll be bummed if they lose. I've never seen them play. Yeah, but and I've seen that in Lubbock too. You know, and that was something cool because you know, growing up in Amarillo, sometimes you were always like, ah, 
those people over in Lubbock, you know, and it's well, funny because yeah. the people over in Lubbock are like, oh, those people over in Amarillo. Which is so weird. Um, yeah, but getting out there, I mean, they're exactly like us, except they have that element. That, yeah. That is a key element, that Texas Tech out there, and then the other schools too, of course, but like when the when the I don't even follow sports, but I know when they win. The yeah. town is alive. It's 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 everybody's happy and shit. Like everyone's giving shit away. You know what yeah, I mean? Dude, that, and when they lose, you know they lose. Like I won't leave my house. It's not because <laughs> they, you know, riot in the streets or anything. Because that's never happened. It's just you're like <laughs> I'm not gonna be the only one at Olive Garden. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> it's a good time to go out. But yeah. Um. So anyway, I just I really love to see you know a lot of people just getting up and. You know, showing that it's important to do what you love um, because at the end of the day, that's all we have, you know? Yeah. So a- anybody who's doing that, I, I want to partner with. I want to make sure that we're, you know, we're starting a dialogue. That well, we I'll definitely make sure you're, like, one of our days. plugs. Oh, yeah, uh, cool. Like I'll, I'll, oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, I'll have you, like, make sure you write everything down for me where yeah. they can look at you. We've got a website. In fact, dude, you got to hit it up, actually, sometime. We'll yeah, I'll, I'll check it. it out for sure. Yeah. I'm going to do a recording where I do all the plugs, and I'll okay put it in before or after the podcast. Nice. But I nice, appreciate that. Yeah, I usually put it at the end, but I'll try to do this one. I'll, I'll make sure it's up early. So cool. But yeah, dude, that's awesome, man. You yeah. got like that. That's that mirror sounds bitching. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll bring one for you. Dope, <laughs> You'll dude. Like it. I think I can see a good spot in it, in here right like, now. Like what's crazy is I don't. I don't think I'm able to wrap my mind around it. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's fun. It's fun. I'm like, is it a reflective TV? And you're like, not even close. It's taken me a little longer than I thought it would because I'm not a carpenter. It turns out. I yeah. <laughs> so like, I bought all the tools. I went. I got every tool you could ever think that you would need in a carpentry, and I was just. It still took me a while. Well, my girlfriend and I moved into the house next door when we first moved out. Like, we needed a drill for like something. I can't remember what we needed. We just needed a drill. Mm-hmm. And I took. I was like, I need an impact drill. Yeah. Like I got so excited <laughs> to go buy an impact drill. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting to that age, dude. Man. I didn't. I used it twice, <laughs> yeah. and I've never. But if you need that mother, but I've never <laughs> even had to use the impact part. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just a normal drill yeah, that can do it. Like, it can. A normal twenty dollar drill it, could have dealt with. Yeah, 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 but like, it's not like I'm not fucking. What am I? I'm. Scr- I'm literally like installing a fucking towel rack. Yeah. Or like yeah. a fucking for my paper towels. But you you're know what I mean? the fucking tool man, then. You know, you are, I know. It's an easy I know job, it can right? sound like a NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> no man uh, so i mean i got all my stuff from harper freight and like you know oh yeah me too everybody i talked to were like oh my god you're going to harbor freight i'm like dude i'm gonna use it like four times I'm, uh, it's okay if it poops out on the 10th i mean yeah. I'll, I'll deal with it i went know? to the harbor like, i think i went to i actually went i to, love harbor freight that's yeah me too to i got my tool bag there yeah my i got whole thing i was walking through like I bought, I bought, <laughs> dude i bought so much stupid dropped shit. so much money on it right <laughs> like pliers <laughs> i need these wire yeah. strippers why? Yeah, I try not I to. Have, I have a broken fucking XLR cable. Mm-hmm. Never even attempted to fix it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I need to buy wire strippers. This mm-hmm. was after this cable's been broken for a year. Okay. Never even took it apart. I'm like, I need fucking wire strippers. Yeah. I own them. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do it? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's sitting right there. <laughs> no. I, I've never even used them. Okay. I will never use them. Okay. I'm full. Th- I'm so confident that you, I'll never really, use them. You think you really won't? Like I, I think know I won't, dude. Yeah, okay. I'm 100. percent I first off don't even need them to fix that cable. True. <laughs> like, I just use a knife, right? Strip it off. I don't have to strip any wire. Yeah. I just gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I just gotta fix the ground. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> that one over there. Is that what yeah, you're looking at? Like, okay. <laughs> like <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. You got this corpse just hanging there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, very nice. All right, I'm gonna show you token. Okay, yeah, show me this guy. <laughs> this guy's dope. Are you are you a fan of rap? I like rap sometimes if it's clever. Okay. If it, you know, Tech Nine. This is all nine. about this is all about you know hustling and bitches. I'm okay. just kidding. I'm just well. kidding. I'm just kidding. Everybody. Yeah. Still look like a kid, but I talk like a gentleman. I'ma probably make party me on a strip again. I'ma probably make them shake these of riddle and I'ma pull up and make your mama feel like she a kid again. She call me token, she don't know my real name. Ironically, she only could be for the bitch of Look at what I'm doing, the people are out to get me, so I'ma probably kill them and blame it on my adrenaline. Uh, well, I gotta kill again. Oh, what I gotta kill again. Who you really think you're killing it? They can only talk about you when I'm not here. Y'all weird, y'all feeling it. Uh, all year, y'all feminine. I remember when they wouldn't even fit a sin. I got the alienation like an alienation, but now they citizen like a citizen. That's how I go. Rock, game, beat, drive. That's shop and roll. That's just a plus. That's on the roll. I keep that low. That's five below. I'm down one, Nella. I'm wrong forever. Two bras together. That's adios. Cause they vibe together. We fly together. Y'all f
water bottle and no cap. I get on stage and I splash and I throw that. Class like a Kodak, class like the post that snap like a broke that hope that it grows back, holds like a throwback bitch and my rock star post and repose that. Look, all of these rappers know me, but they pretend like they never did. Then why the fuck your new video? It looked like Token directed it. I don't blame you, I would too, but I deserve to be credited. Put me in that description, like sorry Token, I bit this. You want them, yeah, yeah, I owe you that. You do your thing, but your thing is old and whack. I got some advice, I'm not holding back. Hang it up like the fucking phone is tap. Throw in the towel like you break a sweat before I break your neck. I got shoes to fill Just been in school I got time to kill I got you to kill You knew the deal is token Damn All right. Full crushes He's so good And did he get a start on YouTube? Uh, honestly don't know He's like nine. He was like 19 Or mm-hmm. something uh, He did Sway The first time he did Sway Like made the co-host cry Like he fucking crushed it oh. but, uh, Dude he's unbelievable um, this is him with Tech Nine. This is him with Tech Nine. I'm gonna play it as the outro song, dog. All right. So I'm glad you came on, man. Yeah, man. I'm thanks for super having me. pumped. Thanks for bringing thanks your fun. own internet and just happened yeah. that my internet was out, so that worked out perfect. Yeah. Just take it with me. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's one of the coolest things anyone's ever said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, just man. Take the internet with me. Well, this is a token and Tech Nine. All right, YouTube rapper. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I got it. You've got to blow yeah. it up. You I, gotta do I, yeah, I'm going to. I'm that. going to. I just appreciate you coming in, man. I'm gonna cut the audio on the mics. Cool. Cool. Yeah. When I was younger, I didn't know what to do with myself. Freestyle to freestyle, proving myself. Started focusing on a mission more than spitting, but the feeling that I was missing was the one to kill everybody else. I'm not violent, I just need to be protected now yeah. My boy just got himself a little pistol He might shoot it at you Who am I after? Anyone I got a sticker Put in my poo-poo platter Use the chatter But I get way too much pussy To be a YouTube rapper Shoot you actors Not with the way Hoot loot captures With a G-crew master Doo-doo blaster Block with the kid Cuckoo clappers From a soup loot chapter Tell me how you wanna do it Should I nuke you bastards? Or Should I go and get him With a count Cuckoo faster Do you faster? Who'd you rather go against? I control the web Like a computer Have your eye been abusing rappers It's animal crackers And shoots and ladders Put him in a coma close And I'm going ghost Feel like I'm cool with Casper torture, everybody put him in a group on camera like it's an Uvo gather. But I gotta choose me to try to hoot two mathers. Guess I'm the truth and a boost to Zeus who's gasser. But Buku flashers on social media say I do truth backwards. Fuck your boots loose with a Duke shoot smasher. I'm solid. I'm just the mileage. Please tell the pilot I switched the climate. I'm way too cold. I'm two degrees. It's like I'm switching college. But ain't no need for school if guns can teach you trigonomics. <laughs> Curb stomp the only way I'm kicking knowledge. I don't preach. Ladies say I love you when you're sort of popping. You take them for the word and then they take you for your wallet. You. How many syllables can you fit within a second with no comment? Content. Use your own logic, no comment. <laughs> no more violence. I just kill him to enjoy the silence. I got my hand on the button still. Don't know why I'm running, but I'm running still. No more violence. I just kill him to enjoy the silence. I got my hand on the button still. Don't know why I'm running, but I'm running still. Jesus, Lord, relieve me more of stress. I need some more revenge to storm your neck and force the stress like prehistoric Rex. And don't ask me to be your guest. Feature more or less your new song of foreplay like a tease before the sex. You need some more success. I'm still a teen, of course. I need endorsement checks. Tech, what up? I heard you made the Forbes. I need you for some bread. And I don't treat my girls like queens. I treat them more like kings in chess. I keep the whores in check. I feel like Jesus when you leave me bored to death. Hey, I don't know why anybody want to come and get it from Dante. Dante. That thing is dubious, I am Vesuvius, right now you're Pompeii. Calling me coward, I'm coming, this crazy calamitous Kanye. Whoa. Got a gargantuan gun, I'ma get the grown-up groping grande. Blah, blah, chicken agua after rap beats. But they pause on the fire, shot, blah, blah, black sheep. Nigga, that's weak, fucking raw in the car, black seats. Where they take the raw, raw rap sheets. Ha, ha, ca, ca, cats keep crack peeps. Pipes, pips, and I'm glad it's night. Grammatic geist, get status wiped. Coming against me is bad advice. You don't want to lay up in the poison predicament Gonna wait just in the sort of maleficent Don't say this, I'm the opposite People say I'm a deus I've been on my rambo Killing them off of my camo And I'm becoming equipped with the ammo Pulling them out of the bando Never your rhyme and no can handle No more violence from your sambo And a big silence of the Lambo I make silence from the panel Whenever my mic is handled Ain't no match, you can't light the candle But of a kind, I'm the prime example Talking about me, be slightly careful Coming in my city is quite the gamble Better hope that your flight is cancelled Make you scream cause I like the sample Wait, dismantle, dismantle, put your head on dismantle I see BS in your channel, get out shot by my shadow I don't battle, I do not pretend, don't even rap like this If I'm not with Tech Tech, I got your back, I'm back Architect the way I built this shit from the YouTube kid, I'm done Look. No more violence I just kill him to enjoy the silence